I uh, welcome to the January 8th, 2018 meeting of the Ware Board of Selectmen. Those present will please stand. We'll do Pledge of Allegiance. of the 2018 budget, default budget, warrant articles. Tom, I did make a new warrant article one. <coughs> okay, we'll go through those. Maybe that'd be a good place to start. Yeah, the only thing things. you're not going to have the answers on, uh, Laura hasn't gotten back to me in the last three. She hasn't gotten back to me on any of them, but I did change what you guys asked for. If anyone wants a copy, has a date splashed to the middle. Um, what I did is No numbers on your budget yet, but if you go to the government buildings, um, you would ask me to take the corner trim, cor uh, the roof trim, corner trim, corner boards price that we got a couple years ago. You asked me to add 5% plus 10,000. That's where you get that number, the 46015. Are you with me? Yeah. I'm with you. I just, uh, I guess, I am concerned about the amount. That's because it's close to the other. It's so close to the other that it could create confusion. And sure. I, uh, well, I did my math like you wanted me to, so that's where it came. It's right here. <laughs> now, what? That's the estimate plus plus it, five percent plus ten thousand. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a written suggestion. 30, it was 34.3, so 5% of that is 1715, plus 10,000 is 46015. I don't know how others feel about that. I think that it's going to hurt us on the other article because of the size of it. And we do have, I think I, I did look that up today, approximately $62,000 in that account. The uh, government building and maintenance fund. Other pending projects would be the insulation, insulation in the roof of this building. We go forward with that. I don't if we have ever. success finding somebody, he's not answering the phone. So. But we haven't. Uh, we haven't got other pending projects. I don't believe. Well, there's been discussion of some work at the transfer station, but again, that list. I'm asked Benji to find it because it was a list that Tim had, but. That'll take a few minutes. Uh, what are other people's feelings on that? Just, just my opinion. So. I mean, I agree. I, I just, you know, I didn't specifically remember that number that we got from two years ago um, in that quote. But uh, I mean, I, I think I think that's a fair number for for what we asked. But I, but I do agree there might be some hesitation on the, in the ballot box with those numbers two so close together. Might be some confusion, which leads to a no one to know. 
but with that money in that account, um, I mean, I think we should do, put something in there. Yeah, I think we should put something in here too. But the actual estimate was what thirty something? Thirty-four. Thirty-four three, just for that part of it. Mm -hmm. And that included the uh, repair of the. That replaced all rotted trim, including roof corners and cor and all corner wards. Um, and that's for labor. And then the materials was all the roof trim to be wood. They talked about PVC corners, the discretion of the town, and then painting, and also two weeks of a 80-foot man left to be able to do the work. It didn't include the windows. No. No, we didn't. The windows was a separate project. That was twice as almost twice as much as the project that I put there. Yeah. So you're down to 36? Yeah, we can do that. I think that and that's fine. 36015 instead of adding the 10? Yeah, and then we can assume that we have some money in the fund now. Right. Could be used to right. You know, we had the estimate of 36. So maybe mm -hmm. Give it a 5% increase. Is that, Is that everybody's thoughts? Does that make sense to this end of the table? <laughs> <laughs> so, it'll be, so it'll be what? 30, 30, 36 0015. 36 0015. Um, so, uh, what are you thinking? I see you thinking. Yeah. I know. No idea. Why wouldn't we? Like other years, we've always put in just like one article, and I know that that we were uh, last year. It was brought up that there wasn't any plan to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't we do two? One article with say seventy-five thousand, like it was last year, but you have at least two projects that you can do with that. Because I think the consensus that we got was, you know, don't don't bundle them all together, isolate them. In their own. That was the consensus that I think. You wouldn't that. have. Hmm? You wouldn't have. <coughs> you were voted in in March. I mean, I guess the consensus here is. Oh, the consensus all. here. Yeah. Oh, I thought you yeah. meant consensus of the town. The consensus here was was what the what we the back you know. The, uh, the feedback. The feedback was was that you know because it was such a broad spectrum of money, it was hesitated on. Because we didn't have a plan for it. Right. Now we've got two plans. Right. For the money. Right. And why not? This one isn't. This one isn't for a specific plan. It's just the money right. that was in there for that siding. It's a, this is for the general building and maintenance. Where the other one is a specific plan for that. Right. So this could cover. And I think it's anything. I think it's a lot easier to put an, a number on the bell tower myself mm -hmm. because it's it's oh. pretty straightforward on okay. what needs to be done to it. Mm -hmm. My feeling. I think that this this corner board rot is going to get away from us rather quickly mm -hmm. once it starts hope getting opened up. So I, I think that was. You know, that would, my own opinion would be that that's why that capital reserve fund would be used well there because it gives us a little flexibility on. They're both going capital reserve. Right. One's but one's earmarked specific. One's earmarked. Right. Right. Specific thing. right. right. Okay. So, I mean, again, you know, the, 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 the number plus five plus ten was just my idea thinking mm -hmm. to maintain the, the, the buildings that we have with that 10K and then, because I think that number is going to. It'll get a uh, be quick hindsight, okay. unfortunately. John, any? Well, I mean, if you lump them together, it sounds somewhat more palatable. But if it's voted down, we're done. At least they said by separating them out, they may both pass. But only more, maybe only one of them will pass. Mm -hmm. But at least we'll get something. Something get down. Or, yes. Or you run the risk too if you bund bundle them together. What are you going to bundle them? Is going to take the bell tower right out of it completely? Because if you leave it as going to the bell tower, and you'll have nothing. You can only use that money for the bell tower. Right. So. No, that wasn't my suggestion. My suggestion no. was to put them together. But to, I mean, you have the feedback. For the feedback the last year for putting them all under the government building and maintenance fund is that we should have that earmark for specific. We should have specific projects in mind and have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all Warren article. So that's what we did. Right. Okay. And to me where this one's just it's it's so with with rock, 
Anyway, it's just you don't. The article or the building? Well, both. <laughs> both. I mean, yeah. And like I said, it, it's it's hard it's hard to put a number on that. You know, once like, you open it up, once you open up, it's just it could just it's like cancer it just keeps going more and more. And more. Unfortunately, so that was my that was my thoughts behind that. That's all. Okay. But I mean, I'm I'm comfortable with putting it at the what'd you say, thirty six. Thirty six oh one five. If you take off the ten k. I'm comfortable if you take the fifteen dollars off. It's an even number. You want thirty thirty six? But I took you guys. Yeah, thirty six sounds better. Thirty five nine nine nine. So what is the number we're putting in there? Thirty six even. Okay. Second one, we um, we didn't really change much other than there was a discussion about letting everyone know that it's replacement cruisers, so I just added a really short sentence after the question that they'll be for replacement cruisers, because last year there wasn't even a discussion of replacement or no replacement. That's You saw the article how it was. Whether you like it that way or you want to put it somewhere else. I think it's important that we have it in there. If we missed it last year, we missed it last year. Yeah. But it's like that's typically, uh, you know, it, it is for replacement. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that's where that is. Uh, the next article we didn't touch. We left it alone. Mm -hmm. The article for the um, wording, this is new wording. Um, the only one that's been passed by is the NHMA. We haven't passed it by. Steve Buckley from NHMA gave Beth some assistance in drafting it. So it hasn't been by DRA and it hasn't been by um, Lore yet. But it does talk about the town meeting and you asked about the fund. So it says, shall the town amend Warren Article 41 of the 1999 town meeting Fire Department Vehicle Special Equipment Fund to allow for the purchase of equipment in addition to the existing purpose of purchasing vehicles and to change the name of said fund to Fire Department Equipment and Vehicle Special Revenue Fund. And I think it will be also important in that um, regardless of what the verbiage ends up being on that is to, to explain it in the narrative, you know, that it still has to go through the town warrant process to purchase out of that, out of that account. Yeah. Yeah, in, in the narrative. I think that's clear. That was, it came up at the finance committee meeting on Wednesday night that it wasn't uh, clear as far as what the request was in the warrant article. I believe this clear that. makes it clear. Okay. The 10 wheeler is the next one. Um, if you recall, it, the old version had 215, but we took off the 30. And um, we're going to add the 185 to the existing capital reserve mm -hmm. fund. This is worded just like it was last year. Mm -hmm. And in the narrative, that's where you're going to explain that you're taking 30 yeah. out of the existing fund. Any questions on that one? The backhoe, we talked about the same as <coughs> putting um, that money into the previously established half reserve fund um, and then the purpose is to utilize it for purchasing the backhoe that's currently being rented and unfortunately that that anticipated is legal mm -hmm. they reason. don't like up to right you can't say up to a certain amount they don't like the words up to actually what we found in the past is when you use up to it means that amount Mm -hmm. they, when we talked about it in relation to the uh, per diem money that was coming out of the special revenue fund, changing it to a revolving fund, when we tried to use the term up to such an amount, that's the amount. It has to be in the article. So whether it says up to or, or how you phrase it, that's the amount. What's okay, that? road reconstruction. Road reconstruction has the... I guess as close enough of an estimate as we can, the 278, 320. I guess a 274 or something. Now, is that phrase the same as last year as mm -hmm. well? Because mm -hmm. at one point, I don't know, last year or the year before, there was some discussion on the floor. Well, doing about, the math. About 
identifying the amount to be raised by tax. Right, but we don't know that this is exactly what you're going to get. You could get more, you could get less. So if we did mean, we still use the same language last right. year. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yep. Um, the hiring of a part-time truck driver we talked about. Um, I changed it a little bit that says the $6,300 represents the cost of recruiting and hiring a part-time driver for the public works. This represents the wages for nine months, and I put the hours in there. Mm -hmm. Um, if approved, it becomes part of the annual budget. I think there was discussion about how many hours and how much yep. time, which is very similar to what we did with the police article. Mm -hmm. Bridge fund. Bridge fund is the same as last year. Bolton Field, I never touched. Bell Tower, I never touched. Um, Beth and I had a discussion about the library one. Um, if you recall, two weeks ago, the article was to just take $25,000, but... The problem with that is um, it's only good for the one year. I think it's a part of a four-year plan, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we did was looked back to how we did the um, how we did the article for the bridge money, and so we basically we started a capital reserve fund. So basically, I, I worded it the same way: as shall the town establish a library? I don't know what to call it, library space. Planning engineer capital reserve under the provisions of RSA 35 colon 1 for the purpose of funding the first year of planning and engineering needs to raise an appropriate sum of $25,000 to be placed in the fund. Um, further to name the board of selectmen as agents to expend from the fund. Hmm. That's written uh, just what we did last year with the bridge. Because if you only do it, you only have one year. You're not putting it anywhere. Yeah. Now the concept, I, I think, is on the right track. Okay. The thing that I would probably should get some more advice on because of this separation of library decision making right. and board decision making, whether it could we be phrased in this way, yep. uh, whether the trustees agents to expend would have okay. to be the trustees, trustees. of the trust fund, uh, trustees of the, the library. Uh, library. Yeah, we talked about that after I wrote it, but I don't know that I'll have to get that answer. And I don't know if this is, but would it? Would it be out of line to put um, funding the first year of four? Because I think it's a four-year installment with it. The only reason I didn't do it before is it wasn't before here. Okay, I just wanted. To I know. kind of follow the article. I know in the right. narrative, um, I guess you can. It is the first year. We didn't even put the first year on the bridge. Right. I just was trying okay. to be clear because you talked about the first year. So put it in the purpose then. That's purpose my statement. thought. Okay. And they That's may fine. they may recommend a change, a different amount or something. <laughs> next year, that's I don't fine. Know what happens? The next two I did call Bill Tiffany, who's now the acting chair, um, as Jan had resigned, and um, they're looking to do the ten and the twenty again this year because they're still they spent a good share of last year's money at the East Ware Cemetery fence, so there's still some more fencing to be done or stone walls around the other cemeteries. So mm -hmm. he asked that we leave those two alone, like we did last year. Now is that just? In case there's nobody there from the trustees, uh, uh, cemetery trustees at the deliberative. I can ask Bill. He usually goes. He's usually yeah. He's usually there. Yeah. yeah. Well, if not, it's like, is this for Stonewall and, and fence or fence? Or and and that's their stuff. intention, mm -hmm. but yeah, and more specifically, can be the better. Yeah, that's what he talked to me today ask. about. Um, the fireworks we talked about that hasn't changed from last one last Tuesday. Neither has the next ones, and Laura is going to work on the article for the Pine Hill. Um, and then the last three, like I said, I haven't really had to run those by her or anyone else, so I'm down to the last three. The only thing I would uh, suggest on the one relating to Keno is that uh, either the whole recommendation just be left off that phrase entirely, <coughs> yeah. or it uh, say uh, no recommendation, one or the other. Because I don't think it's really our position to recommend it nope. or, or not recommend it. It's just putting it out to the vote. <coughs> I don't know what other people feel about that. The Kino. I can ask her. I mean, I didn't, like I said, I just left it yeah, there because I, mean, I, I got paste it. Decision, but I don't. I just gave my personal opinion. I don't know what other board members feel <coughs> about recommending, not recommending, or leaving it with no recommendation. I, I mean, I, I don't think we really. I would say no recommendation. Yeah, I don't think we have. To. 
Yeah. That'd be my own feeling. Yeah, <coughs> that was mine. No idea, so we're going to go. Okay. All right. Just don't work. Absent of a recommendation. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. And um, I did. I did uh, send her the article for the fourteen. But I think was it the consensus to continue on? Um, I think there was some discussion about conservation land in regards to um, that last article, the selling of property. John, you brought this up. Were you there? In the portion of the meeting where the finance committee brought up, they really weren't recommending one way or the other on this because it's not their job. But one of the things that came up, which we hadn't discussed, is that in larger blocks of land, uh, that the reason that that exception was made in that original article is so that it wouldn't be like just sold to developers. But it's in fact. <coughs> We'd have the option of having it as open space later. So, uh, that did come up uh, through the discussion. Not that they have that recommendation authority, but that's a chance we take. As far as I'm concerned, it, it should be the restrictions should be taken off. That's a chance we take. And what about other members of the board? I agree with John. So. There's only there's one piece that's thirty one point ninety four acres and it's on Brook <coughs> Road. Oh Brook? Brook? It's not even town maintained, so they'd have to do the upgrade anyway. Yeah, so it's, it's class six. six. It's class six road. Oh. Okay. Uh, <coughs> There's one on Gettings Road that's five acres, 5.04. That's class six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, Boys Road, 7.28. Class five. Mm -hmm. um, About seven acres you, you, on a dirt road, you can't subdivide it. Mm -hmm. One's on Reservoir. I have a funny feeling it's wet and so forth, but um, there's one on Chipmunk Falls. Take care of itself for an animal. Yeah, there's really no reason also to look at it. If the Conservation Commission wanted to come forward, and, like suppose there was a piece of 30 acres that was right adjacent to something that was already conservation, and eventually come forth with a proposal. Yeah, that's up to them. Up to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that walks you through it. Next week, um, we'll have all of them run by town council. She'll have reviewed them. We'll get them to DRA. No promise on DRA. I got a message two weeks after something was supposed to happen, so I'll do my best. <laughs> Just for discussion, I'm not recommending one way or the other on anything, but back on the first one that we, we walked over as far as the non-union personnel. Yeah. Uh, I just, just did check the uh, consumer price index today to see. Now, uh, Social Security as well as uh, government pension funds are uh, doing a 2%. And the, uh, uh, what's it called? Bureau of Labor Statistics from 11-16 uh, to 11-17 the uh, percentage, uh, CPI percentage was 2.2 percent, and uh, we uh, have that at 3 percent, which again, I'm not suggesting anything for change, but just for comparison, if people uh, want to take that into consideration. Do we confirm?
I had, I had asked a question um, at the finance committee meeting um, if the um, Parks and Recs employees were included in that umbrella, and by the looks of it, they might not be. So we have to check on that. They're not, you said? No, we just did a quick scan. Don't see them in there. No. Just a question. I don't know. How is this seasonal? Okay. And, and, and apply, yeah, that's yeah, possible. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, this, this I think what happens um, if, uh, when she usually comes in, they do their own. Um, they'll come in and recommend if you come back a second year, you get 25 cents. If you don't, you start out at minimum wage. Right. And when we always met with her, she always gave you the list and everybody's hourly rate. Yeah. Um, because they aren't returners, mm -hmm. not everybody's a returner. Yeah, so um, that's kind of how they've always done their budgeting as far as help. And that's probably why they're not on here. But um, because some kids come back and some kids don't. So she takes the newer staff at the minimum wage. And then she, if you're a returner, I think one year you get a quarter, and next year you get 50 cents, and next year you get 75 cents. So that's kind of why it's not a fixed number, because I don't know who's coming back. But I'll just throw it out there to be fair. Um, you can take the wages pool mm -hmm. and add a percentage to it like you do the fire. Right. I, I'm just thinking that they're kind of you the know same what I mean? as, as far as, far as <laughs> we have like on call force, we take the number and we get, apply the percentage in right. the pool. Right. And then that gets distributed right. by, that, by their ways. And that's kind of what I figured would happen with them. It's not on here, but that's just a thought. That's what you want to do. They're returning. They're probably getting more right now. Well, I mean, I, I can only speak for the DPW, and they aren't paid what they should be worth anyway. Yeah. So I'm, I'm all in favor of 3%. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. The, I'm the question had to do with whether and, we should include the parks and part time employees at parks and rec. If you're giving it to other part time employees, if you're giving it to other part-time employees and you don't give it to some other ones, then you're in a discrimination. Is you're it, discriminating against the wages. Are the part-time employees at the transfer station in that 3%? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they are. Fire, Hang on. The fire, the fire, the fire, the fire. <laughs> you're opening. Yep. Transfer. Yeah. You're yeah. opening yourself up to them. <clears throat> what we don't know is whether or not the uh, when they, when Parks and Rec calculated their well, that line for that if they calculate that in. because they do always come in and say right. you know second right. year back mm -hmm. 25 percent increase mm -hmm. but is that you know again you don't know but if you if you don't plan for that contingency and then getting less than what three percent you could be setting yourself up to a discrimination against the four ages of labor i don't so it's not going to change that article a great deal. No, no, so. no. Or it's not the, the amount that's there, but. but again, I just, just a thought, just a question. Well, let's go down the table here. Yeah, Jan, we'll stop you this time. What are your thoughts? <laughs> well, I, I thought that they usually started out at minimum wage. Whatever is that minimum right, wage, whatever Naomi? Whatever minimum wage is. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yes, Typically, the first year they've always done that. Okay. Yeah. They do three percent, I think, or more. If they're getting twenty-five cents. If going, when they yeah, I just raise, did. I just took the. Year. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you want. It. I don't know what the minimum wage is going to be either. This wouldn't apply though to uh, people who are not presently employed. Right? Yeah. They would go to the basic wage scale. Yeah, the yeah. ones that are still yeah. employed. And that's the other thing too is if it, you got to still come back year after year. How many if, the, if there's a stop in employment, I, I don't know. If they're if they're not considered part time and they're only considered seasonal, would they be in the pool at that point? I don't know. Because if there's a, I mean, where you know, obviously we we just spoke about the 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 call fire. It's year round. It's not yeah. We are we may be part time, but it's year round. But some of the stuff now that they do and calculating 
Right, people I, in Washington I changed it because they don't discriminate against seasonal and some of it as right. far as part time. So maybe so we ought to maybe we ought to see we a, a legal no. legal yeah. question about that. Well, what the point I was trying to make is, let's say we hire a sixteen year old to change the gate up there for the first time, and it's for the first mm -hmm. time, and they start a minimum wage. They start we, we wouldn't bump that minimum wage no. to buy. Three percent. No, they would still start. Right. Say it if they the came people, back the following year, it's the same people who've been repeat. Right. So right. Only the, those who would be repeating. Which I'm pretty sure we can get a pretty good prediction, or Karen can get a pretty good prediction on who's coming back yeah. in the following year. Yeah. And well, I mean, it's and you. if you do three percent on their on their payroll line, it's six hundred and forty-ish bucks. Yeah. Total. 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 It's three percent of the. But total not everybody's going to get that, so yeah. it could be less. Yeah. So you walk the fine line. Yeah, but I think it begs the question, at least, because you don't want to one and not the other. Well, I can ask the question. Yeah, yeah, I ask it. yeah see what happens. Because like I said, if they, if they terminate, if they're seasonal, then probably not. But yeah, I would think. But if I we ask know. the attorney, you're probably cautious as much as you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, probably yeah, cost yeah, more. I guess right there. You know, then again, it cost you more on the other end, too. Yeah, so who knows? Just, I mean, yeah. it's... You know, the way the, the way the federal government's calculating this now for hours, they don't look at seasonal employees anymore. They look at hours. <coughs> right. What do you want to do? Rick, you started this. What do you want to do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it on me. Um, I mean, I, I, again, I think it's, it's questionable only for the fact of, you know, they have a season, and they don't work year round. So I don't, I don't know. And they are dead yeah. them anyway. That's not a good yeah. answer. Well, you I know. <laughs> you get to talk to Laura on some of those. That's things. what I'm Might as well throw that right. In Might as well throw that right in the mix. Right. Okay. You're gonna have a bill from them for looking at something the same. Well, I can on that article ask her should seasonal be included. Yeah. yeah. It's well, probably gonna be up back up to us, but I think it's. Yeah. I don't know. Well, at least that way. I'm, I'm sure that's what will happen. No, no, it's up to you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've got a hearing on this next Monday, yep. so we yeah. can't put off too no, much. You'll have an answer. No, we'll, we'll have an answer by then. Yeah. Well, you have to, d after your public hearing, depending on your public hearing, you have to finalize the following week anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? After you hold your public hearing, because you'll receive comment and testimony regarding the budget. So is the, the general articles. attitude of the board to put them in at this point or not? <laughs> Rick, yes or no? <laughs> Abstain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. She almost evicted somebody. <laughs> I, I mean, at this point, I, I maybe just not stir the, maybe not this year, maybe next year. So, I would say. If they weren't getting raises, I could see putting them in. But if they are getting raises, then. Right. It's based on returning or not returning. Yeah. Right. So, so I'll say I'll say this year, no pending next year. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that then. But then you uh, bounce this article off Laura, says it won't cost us anything extra. Mm -hmm. Say, I were required to put in these names. Right. So, yeah. so and if we are, then it then it wipes it. It's a better point. Yeah. I mean, it's clean. You've got to talk to her on a couple of those anyway. So, right. we'll sort of in. Anything else on the warrant articles? Yeah, I'd suggest that we. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Finance committee, any <laughs> comment on any of those? Or any questions on any of those? <coughs> now on the uh, budget. Budget. We we have the we have a different one for us? No, we don't I'm no, I didn't touch that one because so what we're looking at is the default and approved budget sheet. Uh, dated uh, one two one two eighteen mm -hmm. one three no, one two. okay thank you I'm like I got a one three is that bad oh um, because you you do have it for the finance meeting yeah but the numbers are the same yeah okay cool are you I don't know if we're looking at the same sheet here. We look, oh, we're looking oh, at this one. one. Yeah. Okay, I have that one. Okay. Put that one away. You're not confusing uh, everybody. Not okay, one you have this one? I don't have it with me. You don't have it with I you? Have, no. Okay. Okay, yep. I'll get with you. Beth, you don't have an extra, do you? She has an extra copy. It was issue, it was given to us last Monday and you weren't here. That was Yeah. Ta-da.
double save. <coughs> Thanks, bro. Did you guys get a chance to study it over the weekend? Or from the last time that we met six days ago? Probably. Go ahead. You run it. I don't. <laughs> just trying to move along. Yeah, the, you know, I didn't mean it that way. Uh, I was going to just comment on some of the comments that were made at the finance. Sure. Uh, the issue, I think, guess the overriding issue was consistency in the default budget. And if we do it one way in one line, then it should be done the same way in, in another line. So I, uh, and there were a few that were pointed out that, and uh, I really, again, I'd only seen it for one day. And uh, so we probably should discuss a few of those lines tonight. Right. Uh, and it also, if there, the uh, proposed budget, we've sort of, which is the last line on this page, we've sort of gone through multiple times. <laughs> So uh, I don't know if we're making any great changes in that tonight. Uh, but the default, I think we should discuss uh, some of the lines. So I probably did not mark all of those that were questioned the other night, but I did a few. Uh, so let's just walk right down through the default budget quickly, and then with Beth here, if there's something that needs an uh, explanation or the rationale, then she can help us. The town office's salary default lines is really the same uh, as last year's approved budget, so there's no question in there. Um, town officers, uh, the only decreases are contract decreases. Uh, Both ways. There's a one increase, mm -hmm. but one, there's three. There's four decreases and one increase, but it's still a decrease. One increase, but it's still a decrease. Total. It, oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Overall. 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 There we go. Line fourteen. Yep. This is where we get into the consistency issue. Sure. Mm -hmm. And you know we can come back to it, and we don't talk about it as far as those each individual lines. But we, but uh, should let's just take line ten. Uh, should that in the default budget remain the same as last year's approved budget? I mean, we. I just feel it. I mean, my. Pro I mean, we've done this the same. If. If the con if the new town report price is less, we've always done that. I know there was a huge discussion with insurance when we were talking about the four hundred twenty thousand versus the three hundred seventy three thousand. But we've always, if every year the price has been put there, mm -hmm. so I don't know why we would ask for twenty four thirty five when we know we're only going to spend eighteen seventy five. Yeah, I understand that, and especially with the contract. Yeah. We put out to bid to do our town report for X amount of what he's going to do for us. And that's Same thing with the right. report in the mailer. And we moved vendors for the hosted email, which we have a lesser amount, changing vendors. Are you okay with that? It is. I know for those of you who were there last night, we do have some lines here where we were. Mm -hmm. Question. Uh, I won't say accused, it sounds negative, but uh, it was pointed out to us that we weren't following if we didn't keep that consistent across if we changed it going the other way in some lines. Well, I have a question and answer. It was in the uh, New Hampshire Municipal Association. And <clears throat> it's whether it's considered a multi year contract or not a multi year contract. In one place it says you can do it, and in the other place it kind of leaves it ambiguous. So there's two questions here, and one question is what is the statutory definition of default budget? In that one, if you read it line by line, it says that contracts can be used in this manner, the way that we're doing it, either increasing or decreasing. But then you go to this one, and it says... What are contracts and other obligations previously?
previously incurred or mandated by law that are included in the default budget. And But they're making reference to like the New Hampshire uh, retirement system and the workers' comp. Okay? Those are the two that they used. And what they're saying is, like, if you have a multi-year, and this is what Neil raised the other night, if you have a multi-year contract and it's for five years and it runs out, I guess if you renew the contract and it's not discussed at town meeting, then you can't do it. But that's I don't know. not really what that says. Not what this one says. No. It is what this other one says, though. Then, and also, um, <coughs> We have a town ordinance that was passed relating to contracts, and it just states two public hearings. Okay, so which is advisory? Yeah. Which is advisory only? Yeah. Was stated that way in so deliberative session. You're talking about other contracts. I'm talking about like um, the coffee machine contracts. The cumbered uh, expenses. You know, the, 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 radio, did they the run radio out? Contract. People know that we're having it because it's in the it's been in the budget yeah. in that way. As far as I'm concerned, so technically, it's, it has gone to town meeting. Maybe not as a as that single item mm -hmm. type right. thing, but it has been openly discussed or Dis dispatched. Right. So that if you contract. get a new one and you go out to bid, like we've done this year in certain cases like that. Uh, the uh, cleaning, whatever we've done, there's, there's a variety of them. Um, <clears throat> I think those are okay to mm -hmm. increase and decrease. I mm -hmm. mean, that's what we've. You're encumbered expenses. You have to. No, I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't know what the clear cut answer is. To the, be honest. What we found in over years and years uh, is that that there isn't. If you ask the RA, they refer it back to this board to make the decision as far as uh, clear as mud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, somewhat mm -hmm. less so. So I guess that's why I would vote to keep these. If they're decreases, they're decreases. If they're increases on the contract, then, okay. then you'd include the increase amount. I mean, if we've just got them and in the elections again that has to vary from year to year where by statute we have to hold these elections and if you have three elections one year and four the next it's going to cost you more so you'll see changes uh, in the elections the tax collector contract issue here, but it's it's kind of an ongoing, it was renewed mm -hmm. with the same with, vendor, with, right. with the same company, and there is an increase. And we put that increase in the default budget. And those all went out to bid even though they mm -hmm. were renewed. Right. Mm -hmm. So anything under assessing? Mm -hmm. uh, legal expenses. Now here we've kept the default the same. We have a ten thousand in increase in the bottom line there, uh, and that comes under the top section legal fees for our proposed budget. But we we kept the sixty-two thousand default. Can't really be any argument on that. Um, finance administrator. Again, the uh, changes were voted on last year. As part of the um, raises. Town clerk. I would say the same thing. The next one's a big discussion. Right. 
talking about the um, with the se secretary for the wages. Mm -hmm. Wages for the secretary. How's that one? Yeah, we spent quite a bit of time on this the other evening because so we talked about we want to restructure and have the mm -hmm. uh, town administrator's secretary, a town administrator's secretary, mm -hmm. and the highway secretary separate from that, which is what we've had uh, for many years running prior to maybe three years ago, two, three years ago. Oh, it's been swapped around for a while. Mm -hmm. um, could be. I don't remember. Time gets away. <laughs> At any rate, the town administrator's secretary has picked up the duties of highway as part of her job. So what we're trying to do here is to restore it so we have the full, in the proposed budget, we have the full amount under, um, full amount of her wages under Selectman's office. And we have that amount in default. And there was discussion about that mm -hmm. the other night. The default number should go back to the 20 hours. Mm -hmm. The default number should go back to the 20 hours. Is that from uh, our discussion the other night or from our legal counsel? No, that was um, more or less, I mean, again, from NHMA, who always quotes you as, make sure you check with town council, so. Mm -hmm. And they said that should be the 16215? I mean, it, uh, legitimately for default, yes. 16460. Actually, it's a little bit. It might be. Oh, little, it might be a little bit different than right. that because of the because of increase. The increase yeah. right. So that's a new number that will be a new number. So we'll be changing that to the sixteen four sixty. Well, it might be a little more than that because of a half a year with the raise Raising. that was approved. Now. Will that change any of those other numbers the, uh, that are related to that? Yes. Okay. Anything else under Selectman's office? Trust funds, land use. They really, that was all stuff that was approved last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Government buildings. Um, that changed because of the moving out from departments and into ours. It's really just a change. Oh yes, yeah, so it's switching around yeah. the electric. Did it go down? And heat. Decrease in parentheses. Okay, cemeteries. Tom, so we're gonna look into a couple numbers on that on the heat and Heat and electricity. Okay. And I just, think just, Beth could probably might answer yeah. your question. Like 190, line 190, 191. Um, the heat at the safety complex is going, or is that be, no, that was, no, from 54 to 83. Yeah, like 191. Oh, 191. Is that is that because of the? Um, because um, last year's number was fifty four hundred, so that would be the default for this year. Right. But we're proposing an increase. Because. because yeah. Because of what we the usage time whatever we locked in as. Okay. So fifty four hundred is the default number from the fire department's last year's okay. budget. 
Okay. And the eighty two hundred is what would be in the fire department's proposed budget, but since we need to our office and our budget now. Okay. I can tell you That they spent for 2017, $8,562. Which line was that? 191. 191. So with the new with the new fuel rate. But the default is just the appropriation. It's not are we going to be over there with a the price yep. per gallon? Right. Yep. But are we going to be over there with a barrel fire trying to keep the station warm because we don't have enough money? I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just asking. It's, it seems like that's a <coughs> encumbered expense. I mean, that's my own opinion, but. Okay. Pick kindling up on the side of the road, I guess. <laughs> We all set with that, Governor. I no, but yes. Under insurances, this is one that was brought up as a point of contention the other night. That uh, if we're consistent, then the default budget. This was from a finance committee member. Should um, be the four twenty seven seventy nine. Kind of the opposite from what you usually hear, from, but it was, it was uh, brought forward. Um, and should we leave it alone, or should we move that number over? Again, the issue here is consistency. If we lower one. Uh, and raise one, we should have the same reasoning in each case. I mean, it, it goes along with the mail or whatnot. It was, we know what it's going to be. Why do we need, why would we ask for 47000 more than we need? Right. I, You're right. I just don't see it. You know, I'm not saying that we should. All right. I'm doing is quoting. I, I know. I was there. But mm -hmm. It just doesn't make it sense makes to it ask more like, than we need on that line. If you ask it more than you need, it looks like you're trying to pad the budget. Right. Oh, and I think that's being, you know, at least it's being transparent. We'll do it that way. We'll leave it this way. Okay. And, and I mean, going a little drastic here, but why try and negotiate contracts for a better price at that rate? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to pay you 420 Well, we're only going to charge you 370 Well, here's an extra 40 grand. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> honestly, though, why would no. we negotiate contracts? Don't shoot the messenger. I know. No, I was there. I was there. I'm just, I'm just, but I'm just, you know, simple minded and thinking that way. It's just. So our total insurance is, as you can see, did go down by $35,610. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work with confidence. Okay, now, um, again, next one is a contract increase. Go run up a little bit. Police Department. The one discussion I think will, to be consistent as long as with our department was the part-time secretary. Um, if last year was 65.91. Maybe that way. Default, default sh should be sixty five ninety one, mm -hmm. yeah. and the proposed should be. This is my own thought. Thirteen seven zero seven. I know it's twenty dollars to keep a spot, but twenty dollars pays for one hour of a secretary, as we've learned. I thought we decided that, that was with the chief. I thought we decided that that position was basically. Not going to have it for 18. Am I wrong in saying that? Because we had the discussion. Correct. And 
that's why we put that to that as a placeholder for future. You have to placehold it because it's part of the collective bargaining. Okay. Yep. It can't be eliminated. Right. But uh, I don't anticipate it being filled on 2018 or the need for it in 2018. Okay. So there it is. So is the, is the, f the default, are you looking at 6591 and then leaving the 20? Yep. That would, be my that would be my thought. That would be my thought. What about, um, and this is where we get into some tricky areas, line 231. Was Part-time officers. Part -time Same officers. thing. Uh, we have the forty-two thousand in there as a default number, and it's based on the uh, full roster concept. But we only put ten thousand five hundred in the proposed budget. So sh the default should be the same. So. Under the 10-5. 10-5. I mean, because in 2018, the default is going to be bigger than the proposed approved budget. The for, I would think so. In the proposed budget, it's 10-5. How can so a default budget be the same thing? How can, how can, how how can, can a default budget be larger than the proposed? Proposed. Well, see, this Without is contract. Really some areas. Last year, I only know what the finance would be. I don't know if it refers to this line or not, because I think it was full-time officer wages that we were talking about. And we knew that we would not be able to fill certain positions. So in order to keep the bottom line of the budget down, we agreed that we would not put that interim period when we knew we wouldn't have those officers on board in the budget. But we made it very clear that that would have to come back this year But we found in the discussion that uh, not everyone agreed with that on what's in that. But this one, let's just stick one line at a time. What are we doing with this part time? What, what was the rationale behind the 42,000? I guess that's what I'm asking. That is two part timers, 20 hours a week. 20 hours a week. It's mm -hmm. their full roster. Yeah. Part -timers, okay, so why don't we have that number in the proposed budget as well? I'm because sure. We wanted one officer at a time. Is it 30? Okay, well, two hours. Two officers at 30. Yeah. Collective bargaining agreement calls for um, a fixed part time schedule of 30 hours each week per officer. So the, the number is is based on that and um, that's the reason that there's such a uh, reduction in the proposed budget is because um, I don't anticipate the need for uh, uh, part-time officers to be used on a fixed schedule like that I, I would I would prefer, and so far the collective bargaining unit has been amenable to us using it this way, is uh, when we do fill that position, they would be there for filling uh, vacancies created by leaves, uh, training, vacation, things like that. Well, the difficulty we have in carrying that forth and explaining it is that Last year it was the ten five, uh, and and just I think you have to keep in mind though. Last year you also were faced with a cut of one oh eight, so he gave up it, the part time officers as part of the one oh eight as well, along with some deferred hires. When you guys ended up doing the bottom line, because you had to find one hundred eight thousand dollars somewhere. So your approved number and considers that whole one hundred eight thousand dollar. Reduction. That's why when you get to the police, I mean, when you get to the fire, you know, there was deferred hires that are now, the positions have been filled. 
That's why it looks a little awkward, too. I need some word from other board members on this. I say we put back 10-5. Yeah, I mean, to be consistent, it should go down to 10-5. Yeah. I mean, In the default. In the approved default. last year and proposed the, this year. I don't see how you can up it like that. Mm. For the default. The annual cost of any multi-year contract that had been approved by a prior town meeting would be included in the default budget, such as a collective bargaining agreement. Mm -hmm. So I guess if it was 10-5 and approved at 10-5 last year, is that what we're saying? Then you'd have to put it at 10-5 this year. It was, it was 108. That's my taken point. out of the total budget, and that just happened to reduce that number as one of the each department yes, See that approved budget uh, was actually a revised budget. It wasn't because the, the money, the uh, numbers put forth, uh, would probably have been for that total amount, forty-two thousand, uh, but. Because of that cut that was made, there had to be a revised budget done, and the revised number was the 10 5. The 42,000 relates to the contract, though. Which was so voted in like 2017. So that should go into the proposed number, not, the, yeah, the, not to the default. The default budget should be 10 5, and if you want that 42, it should be over here in the proposed. 18 proposed budget. But I think he he's defaulting for what was approved at collective bargaining, That's which correct. is the correct way. Mm -hmm. And he's proposing not to use it this year. So you default and you propose are different. The CBA was voted in at 17. So your default number, according to what you just read, was contract that was approved. This becomes the 42. He's proposing something less of the usage. So would that mean that the part-time secretary should be back to 13-7 because they're part of the CBA as well? Oh. Good point. I don't know. It, I mean, if the CBA wasn't, you know, if there was no contract current, mm -hmm. then... Mm -hmm. well, see, I'm reading it that whatever was the approval of the CBA. Whatever was approved. Because the part-time is in the CBA. Mm -hmm. Right, but... But, but 17, 17's budget was approved at 10-5. The CBA went through in 10 and in 17 as well. And now that has its that is a collective bargaining. I think what she's talking about is if you go back to the default, the default, you have to go back to that number. Yeah, That's for the approval. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think you'll confuse more people to see 10-5 in the proposed budget, the default at 42 of them. It's trying something's trying to be right. No, I, I agree. Oh. Um, I wish that they would educate themselves, but yeah. But again, it's I, I don't know. I think we should seek legal on that, or I think it's a decision that would be left to us. Okay, yeah. Uh, so let's make it and move on. Okay. Are we leaving it at the 42 or are we changing it to the 10? Rick, I'll start the other end if you prefer. <coughs> start the other end. 10-5. 10 10-5. Five. 10-5, five. but with switching the proposed to the 42. So his proposed budget for 2018 will not be 10-5, it will be 42. Why? Well, that's what he's actually proposed, right? Or no. He's proposing the 10-5. He's proposing the 10-5. Proposing the 10 Okay, then leave it at the 10-5. I do think if we're going to go with this, uh, that we should go back and that the part time secretary default should be the default number from last year. It is. It is. Yeah. 6591. We did that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we re lowered it to 20. No, the no, no. default at 6591 yeah. proposes at 20. 
Now that's going to ever so slightly change um, payroll related items. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some payroll related items to those two changes. They go down. Mm -hmm. So just to let you know. Those okay. numbers will change. Anything else you can see there that uh, should go down? The On police department. Yeah, line two sixty nine. Proof budget was four. You got the default to six. Mm -hmm. Understand it's a contract, so it's probably okay. Did that increase include the two part timers being fully outfitted? So that number will change reflective. That's part of. So that'll go back to that four thousand. Okay. So the Is there? Oh, is there a? The part timers that he didn't have as of April last year. He had two full timers last year that he did not have in April. Okay. So those will be included. Okay. So instead of four, it'll be fifty-five right. to include the ones we. Okay. Yeah. Is it proposed then going to be 55 then? Yes. Okay. Even though we said we weren't touching proposed tonight. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. Emergency management. Let's see. Fire department. Look at line 291. That's one that uh, mm -hmm. we're going to have to discuss tonight. That again goes to the deferred hires. Right. Instead of nine months, you went to six months. And the intent of the proposed was it, nine months. It, the intent of the proposed budget in 17 was to include that. Questions, comments? It's pretty exciting here tonight. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think I think had the, the proposed budget failed in 17, it'd be a different story. Okay, if you go right down the line here then, we're still under fire, uh, under the fire department. Uh, if you see other lines that... That was the biggie that generated the most discussion. Highway. Uh, this is part of the same discussion we had. Okay. The, uh, highway part-time secretary. 
And I think you're saying, Naomi, that that 24 has to remain at 16, 20, It's going to remain as a proposed. The 24508 represents 30 hours, which is proposed. Right. But the the default. default's going to be the 16, 16 the difference. Seven. Well, it's going to be half because of the raise. Right. right it's 20 hours and 20 hours. Right, 16, 2, 16 plus the pool. Right. Okay. So it's going to be 16, 8. So just to clarify, the default line under 371 is going to be $16,216.85. 377? Plus. Did you say 371 or 377? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. What's the 16? It's going to be 20 hours. Right. Right. Again, there'll be a slight change with the other payroll stuff. I hate to sound like a broken record. What is it? That's also going to reflect in 389 as well. Correct? Fine. No, 389, you can only get um, life insurance if you're full time. Yeah. But the only reason I'm saying is because the job script can change. Was hers split in life insurance? Yeah. Hers, that one was split. Okay. Anything else on the highway? Mm -hmm. Transfer station. in the trash. For hauling. Trash hauling. And your monitoring well has decreased too. because of the one-time expense, mm -hmm. correct? Sixty-three. Unless that was a contract that decreased that we don't see in their operating budget, that should stay forty-five, three forty-five, seventeen, eighteen. And then I don't really like that proposed budget number either. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm thinking that might be a little low for the operation. Just saying. So we got we got yeah, life insurance got a little expensive. But the operating budget. Yeah. Look at good. So 
Um, no, I think I think that 45, 45, and then 42 should be on the proposed. Yeah, I do think we should uh, switch those two numbers. Yeah, on the probably. on the proposed, he's talking default. I think he's yeah, looking at the default the number. Right. Yeah, we just have. Yeah, we got swap 562 and 563 on the proposed side. Yeah, it happens. But again, I, I, I still think that 563 should be 45, 345 in the default. Unless unless there was a contract change that, that came up to that 2533. Mm -hmm. But I, we don't know that. Is that usually got to do with people leaving money? Endowments or something? Oh, yeah. The, um, they, in order to use their funds, they have yeah. to propose it. Right. Okay. And I think well, it's increased. How does that work? So if they it's don't have it. We all have it on the revenue side. Yeah. Right. But how does that work when it comes to a default budget? Yeah. Conservation, work, asset, uh, ambulance, get service. Yeah, that. That 596 is going to increase because that is, that was voted in 17, correct? Right, 16, so apparently there's only one interest payment. You only did so one in 17. Right, I'm sorry, it was 16. Six six month month right. Payment. right. So it would be two six month payments? Yep. Yeah. Right, so that is the default number. You got to pay bill. Yeah, oh yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. That means, oh, right, you're going to keep the fire station on the barrel. Can't pay the fuel bill. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Beth, did you make sense out of that as we went along, or do you have any questions we want to go back no, to? No, the only question I have is the library one, but I think I'll talk to Michael about it and see what in the operating budget is a contract. Mm -hmm. okay, if that 2500 it comes to a contract, yeah, fine. Okay. If there are no name. Mm -hmm. Chief, anything? Uh, finance committee members, any questions? Lori? On um, animal control, line 293, your approved budget is 11,986. Just a minute, let me find it, okay? okay. What, what was the number again on the 493? It would be page 13 and 16, bottom. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. If the approved budget of 2017 was 11,986, going on the concept that the default budget is what last year's was, instead of 12,000, shouldn't it be 11,986 consistent? Or it's the same thing as with uh, the other areas where people got a raise last ah. year. Yeah. It was carried over, okay. so you'll see a lot of the wage lines are a, is a small increase in them. And since this is a part-time position, it really was fairly small. Okay. That's what that was. And then the, the uh, related items. FICA and Medicare will be with it. The other question I had, when the police were in to discuss the police department budget, and we were talking about having two people in the pipeline possibly, but the logical rationale would be that there would not be, they wouldn't probably be hired until February 1st. So would we not figure them in into the January part of the budget? So what, what you're, you're saying is that, that the salary full-time officer is proposed would be a little less. As long as we carry across the understanding as we move into another year. And you have the body there, yes, it would have yeah. to be there, correct? Yeah. So it would be like minus like you did one last twelve. Year. Correct. Chief. We're, we're checking. I think we might have already done that calculation. Okay. We don't have it right here. We can make a note of it because I don't think it's a problem with that. If we know we're not going to yep. spend it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
isn't it? It is reduced. Um, it looks like it's only reduced one month though. Yeah, that was February 1st. Okay. So it's all set. So it's, all so it set. it's only 11 months in there for two. Okay, so it already has been. The 2,211 has already been reduced. Reduced for that 11, for that, uh, 2018. 11 months rather than 12. Bob, anything in your either thing here that you, if we were going through, that you want to nail us on or in any way? Um, as I understand, there were no changes, so I'm, I'm good. Okay. <coughs> are we all set? Did they default? Okay. Mm -hmm. We're all still awake. Was. Okay. Um, I'll probably try to email this out to you tomorrow. So. Review questions, get back to you before Monday. Now, we, if we, we can, of course, make changes on uh, after Monday's mm -hmm. public hearing. Uh, but we want to have it all together for that time so that we know mm -hmm. what we're defending, what we're talking about. Anything else on the budget? Time looks good. Next on our agenda are the minutes of December 27th and January 2nd. Seventh, anybody have any changes on page one? Page two, I only had one little change myself. Uh, under town warrant draft, about halfway down, he said she said she. <laughs> I just uh, crossed out the first she. The selectman Snyder said she is fine either way. <laughs> A new swing on things. Anything else on page two? Mm. Page three, I got a couple of things. First, in the paragraph that says 2017 year end budget purchases, uh, I would just suggest that where it says new computers for Beth and Wendy, that oh. probably should be more <laughs> formal than With that. Departments. <laughs> yeah. the finance director and assessing department. Assessing and finance. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But, um, finance and assessing, yeah. It was out there in the bigger <laughs> world. We're 20 years down the road. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other thing is uh, that calculation under <coughs> the Items, does that add up to the sixteen thousand? It looks like it would add up to more than that. Yeah, with the with the voter site continuation. Yeah, I didn't add, add the voters one in there. Pardon me. I don't think I added the voter site in there. I know it's listed there, but I didn't add it separately. Because it was I, a wash. It was an in and an out separately. Okay, so the fourteen thousand is not added. No, in no, there. no. I could change that bottom line. Oh sure, <laughs> but I be I, because it was being redone I left in, it and, and if you want to put down at the bottom separately I understand that yeah I think that for clarification otherwise yeah. it looks like that we can't like add. A, a, a yeah calculation mistake so really the bottom line should be twenty thousand seven hundred forty six thirty six uh, then maybe a note made well, I think it'd be thirty thirty thousand 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 thirty the other thing is, did we not approve that? You approved it. There is no motion in the minutes. I know we approved it. Yeah, but there's, know no know we did it. there's no motion. Right. Well, I think we kind of went down through them. I don't know, did we? Did we have to make a motion? Yeah. We made a motion. We just did a consensus. We did a consensus as we went down. No, we did vote on it. Yeah, we would have had to that. I don't know how to figure it out. I'll have to watch YouTube. Yeah. I honestly, 
I thought it was done by consensus, but under new business, why don't we just vote on it? We affirm. Okay. Under new business, so that we have a record of it being a motion. Anything else on page three? Page four, just uh, first line under administrative report. I just changed over near the end the uh, have to has. <laughs> That's only I had on that page. Anybody else? And then on the last page, uh, Vice Can Chairman Hitler asked if there was any new information. I just inserted the word if. Anything else on that page? Mm -hmm. We have approve the minutes of December 27th, 2017. Second. Amended. Maybe seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is that five? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. January 2nd. First page, anyone? Second page, had a few things. Fifth paragraph, halfway down. The line of Scott, Slough and Snyder agree that the parking down in the facility where it says if is awful, mm -hmm. and then uh, two lines down from that, the safety was a concern. It says last year we heard the safety was a concern regarding the boat ramp, so I crossed out that second last year that we had it in two places. Under additional police officers, second line down, that is currently not 11 spots of fill. So I cross out the first B. And a couple lines down from there, just before where it says nine officers, staff of nine officers, not there. I have a change in the police cruiser. Okay. The eighth line down where it says, and then every year starting 2000, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to take that one, that's fine. Um, safety complex yesterday, and one of the new charges still was covered with snow. It was one of the old Crown Vicks. It was Vicks. a Crown Vic. Yeah, it was one of the old Crown Vicks. Yeah. <laughs> Car's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Wish it was. <laughs> Be going from one, you want to put one of the cars, or do you want no, to I will you put, put the Crown Vic? Vic. I, Crown Vic. I, I picked out the charger. Yeah. Yeah. Meeny, 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 that one. Yeah. At the very end, that that needs some clarification. The board proceeded with the rest of the draft articles. The article for the non-union personnel was a new number that reflects the result of the new town administrator's contract. And I added the town administrator will not be included in the article. Because it sounds the opposite. As okay, right. sure. Mm -hmm. And then in the next one, uh, government building and main. Anybody else on that page? Uh, uh, page two. Anything else? Page three. Um, it's a small thing, but the very last line. That number the board was provided is about. I think it's two and a half years old. Because Rick was on the board, and mm -hmm. it's two and a half years old. Not three and a half. Oh. Just a baby. Anything else on page three? Page four, just a couple of little things. Um, under public comment, when we go down to about two thirds of the way down, it starts with engine. The line says an engine that is housed in the East Ware Fire Station is used. I just put in the word is before used. And then. Next to the last paragraph, Mr. Black then 
ask about a warrant article for adding 10 hours. It says with the highway department. I, I guess it's okay. I would have put in the highway department. And then just above that, uh, Mr. Butt stated he felt. It says the felt. <laughs> Anything else on that page? Next page, uh, second paragraph, one, two, three, four, five, end of the fifth line. Just cross out this and put these. Got one in there on the second paragraph. One, two, three, fourth line down on the right hand side. Should be disrepair. Okay. <laughs> What's that, the road? Whatever that word Dis is. Disparate. Disparate. Yeah. <laughs> Just what I wrote down. <laughs> yeah, I think if we put disrepair there, we just cross out conditions because you don't really need it there. Dis disrepair. And then, uh, let's see, the paragraph about three quarters of the way down starts last. Lastly, Mr. Butt stated, uh, third line in that paragraph, just change the word, uh, where it says deferred, just put defer filling, uh, F-I-L-L-I-N-G for filling, and just cause the town to defer filling positions. Anything else on page five? Page six. <coughs> Move to approve the minutes of January 2nd as amended. Second. Abstain. Abstain. Aye. Aye. 302. <laughs> How do we ever fill five pages with only three of the seal? Oh. <laughs> three wing bags. That's. <laughs> well, at least I didn't leave them on the present list. That's true. Yeah. Could happen too. Could happen before. Okay, manifest. Okay, is, there th is there three on that orange one? Sorry. It's three on the rest of them, according to the vice chairman. <laughs> He'd be the first to know when I. <laughs> yes. No, I signed it. No, I signed it. As long as you got one more, good. You got five, don't it? Look at that, huh? No. I don't think I spun the keys. Okay, I moved to order the treasurer to sign payroll and accounts payable checks dated January 11, 2018, as included in the following manifest. Payroll, $57,134.33. We have a 2017 accounts payable manifest of $33,087.21 and a 2018 accounts payable manifest of $573,776.97. And just to comment on that, that includes all of the liability, workman's comp, and uh, unemployment compensation insurance premiums for the entire year. That's why that amount is so large. So our total is $663,998.51. If there's a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, it's just against on, the heater. On the manifest, it's it's against the heater. Beth, uh, yes. It's just a crazy little thing, but there's, there's an uh, account payable for Tyler Technologies, which is your, right. your software. It's still coming through. This is way back. It's Tina Pelletier. <laughs> <laughs> so, Connor. Yeah. yeah, they even skipped Connor. Yeah. Um, so 
maybe sometime just yeah, tell them straighten that out. Um, on the administrator report, I've I don't know what else to do. Um, I've tried. I've texted. I don't assume that the one that went up in the attic is interested in doing what you you asked me to have him do so he didn't get locked in there last no okay. no he's not <laughs> up there um i'm not sure what you want to do is it too blustery to do it i don't know if you want me to try to find okay. other people i don't know but the text message i figured that didn't work either so we're at a loss there last yeah. week was a little blustery but it's okay yeah. Then you also get um, capital, reserve, capital reserve fund balances for November and December. You got those in your boxes. Um, I think that's, again, you have a hearing next Monday, 7 o'clock, for the public hearing on the budget and the warrant articles. Deliberative session again, set for February 10th, 9 o'clock at the Ware Middle School. I did talk to Mr. Foss is well enough, and he will be your moderator. Okay. So. Good deal. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to offer you. I would say probably put, I'll try to find, put it out for the contract. Nope. He um, he called me, and he's going to be there. No, I'm talking about for the oh. other deal with the the lights. Insulation and stuff. Well, I think I think oh, okay. you know what, what she wrote on there about the. Um, he doesn't seem to be interested. So. But bring it back in the spring. I mean, it's a little safer out front. Yeah. Well, I mean, letters. if we start looking now, then it comes spring time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. At, the, at this rate, yeah. The way, yeah. Yeah. So maybe, I mean, maybe wait till searching. spring. We'll get it next winter. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm start searching for bait. All right. I'm not going to chase him again though. No. No. no put it That's all. That's all I have to offer. Other than I would like a non-public at the end briefly. Okay. Under A and C. Okay. Public comment. Oh. One at a time, folks. Our <laughs> 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 paper scissors, no. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Shall I say age before beauty? <laughs> or ladies first? <laughs> ladies first. <laughs> oh, <that's> first. <laughs> um <laughs> I am not being disrespectful, John, Jan, Tom, Jack, Rick, or Naomi, but I really think that you aren't following your own procedures, policies and procedures. I'd like to bring you back to um, the town report from 2005. On page um, 38. See if I got it right. Article no thirty nine. Article fifty four. Just a minute. Article fifty four. Shall the selectmen enact a policy change such that no written municipal employment contracts be enacted without at least two public hearings? And that passed 1,081 to 778. Now, I bring this up because I haven't been to the selectmen's meeting because, quite frankly, I don't think you care what I or, quite frankly, anybody else has to say, that you'll go right ahead and do whatever you had. You listen, but I don't know that you hear. Um, I could not find anywhere on the agenda that there was a second public hearing for the police contract, for the police chief's contract. There was one, and it was the hearing that night you signed his contract. Um, Naomi's contract has been signed, and there hasn't been any public hearing. And I think it's wrong. You work for the town, and I, I'm not disparaging Naomi. But I think it's your responsibility to follow the directives that the town has given, even if you were not on the board at the time. Those are things that you need to know and that you need to do. And um, I care a great deal about the town. I see things going on that I really um, think if you were standing on the outside, 
hearing what's being said on the street, you would not be happy either. Thank you. Just, uh, Thank you. Our intention on the, on the town administrator's contract, um, and I don't know if it reads that on the notice or not, was to combine the public hearing with the public hearing on the budget. Yeah, and then there's... The way I hear what she's saying is that it, and, unless the public hearing is held, it, just, it shouldn't be signed. That's what this says. That's what this article says. That's the way I heard it. And, that and, was, and I don't think there was a second one. I didn't even know about that, but I was yeah. going to ask. Well, there's no reason to say that. that. I, I just... Uh, um, just to follow up briefly, uh, th there wasn't even an announcement made that you had signed the contract, as far as I can recall. There was nothing specific about what the increase was or the length of the term of the contract or any other changes to the contract. So, and it's a sign, I'm assuming it's a signed contract the because it's in the budget. To, uh, have copies of that here for the public hearing next Monday. That is our intention. Okay. What would be the intent, though, to have a public hearing? To just let everybody know that we did it? I mean, no, the public okay. hearing is just for people. You're not going to, it's, it's not going to affect your decision. Obviously, the decision's already been made. But that's my point. Have that's you signed the contract? No. Yeah. Is the yeah. contract yeah. signed? Yeah. Huh? Four out of five did. Right, but it's right. not going into effect until... I didn't mean you individually. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. The board signed and approved the contract. Usually when you do that, you come out of, out of non-public and you say we reach an agreement and here are the details of the contract. First time I heard tonight, you're waiting till the public hearing to make that announcement. And it is an announcement. Um, a question on the... Uh, one of the articles on the warrant for the fire department. And no disrespect to the town administrator. None taken. Go sir. for everything you can get. None taken, sir. <laughs> um, the uh, fire department, uh, the wording change for the ambulance build billing fund. Um, it was always, I was always the understanding, I don't have the original article. I might. Uh, I'm sorry. The definition of that fund the, uh, was to for re vehicle replacement. I don't think it was for anything other than replacement. It was for replacement. Yes. All the capital reserve funds, and I believe that uh, special revenue fund, or how, however, however it got manipulated at the time, was always a replacement. I noticed that the. Uh, the article on, on the warrant, the revised article, removes the word replacement. Actually, I just read that today, so oh. I think I can look at it. And in the definition of, it did say in the article, it did say replacement, which is saying, but in the title of the fund, it didn't use the word replacement. Okay, but the intent was the is intent for replacement. Is replacement. So I, I would, I would just ask that that Probably be enough. This is, in this yeah. <laughs> for the replacement of new vehicles, it says. Yeah. <laughs> That's not well, really what we're replacing. It's, it doesn't say that now. It's, it doesn't. I wish it would state in the uh, in the article that is it is for replacing existing equipment uh, as well as for uh, replacing existing vehicles. It just doesn't state that, and I think it should. If that's what the intent is, I, I'm saying this for myself, and the board hasn't gone into that piece. Of it. Replacement of vehicles—that's absolutely was the intent. Uh, I'm not sure about equipment. If it's just like broken equipment they were replacing, or in fact, for example, uh, and I, I'm just following a thought process, process I had today when I was looking at that article. If, uh, suppose we did not have a thermal imaging camera at all, uh, then if we decided to buy it out of that fund and put it on a warrant for uh, uh, voters to make a decision on it, uh, 
it wouldn't really be a replacement. No, I mean, we do have one, but if, if in fact we didn't and we wanted to put that on, it would be a replacement. So maybe it's a discussion we should have before we finalize that wording as to whether or not we want it simply for replacement of equipment. No question on the vehicles. Right. It's replacement only. But for the equipment, I'm not sure that that's what we want. And it should be for heavy duty equipment. It shouldn't yes, be for. Absolutely. Because there's a cap reserve fund or, or, or money in the operating budget to cover those things. So I think it, I, I would like it to be better defined whether there's some wording changes in the actual article or. Uh, when you discuss it at the uh, public hearing or at the uh, deliberative session. Um, with the police department, I just have a question on, this is my last question, on the, uh, the administrative, um, excuse me, the part-time secretary position. I know there's some discussion about contracts and obligations or whatever, but um, uh, in a collective bargaining agreement, uh, that the, the position hasn't been, there's nobody filling that position. So people that are in the, the collective bargaining unit, unit, when you negotiate a contract, you negotiate increases in salaries based on those individuals. Um, but when there's no individual there, there's no contract. This is the contract is for the position. But there's no not necessarily any funding for that position. That's been that, that's been defined. Um, so I mean, in effect, what he said to you when he came in and made his presentation, I talked to the chief briefly in the hall. Um, the twenty dollars that was put in there was to just to maintain the position as part of a position that's uh, part of the collective bargaining unit, it's a, it's a position within the police department. Twenty dollars, obviously, is not funding that. So, this, to me, there's a separation between the position, as a result of the collective bargaining agreement, and funding of the position. So, I don't know why that position in the default budget is being funded at six thousand five hundred ninety-one dollars. Because I don't think there's any any contractual obligation that that is six thousand five hundred ninety-one dollars be made available for that position. I think the position needs to be maintained. And cap, there's a line item of the budget, but I think to me the twenty dollars should be reflected in the default budget. That's it. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Frank Campana. A uh, couple of things. Uh, last week, as I sat in on the meeting, uh, well, actually, uh, me meeting before that, December 27th, I have the uh, copy of the minutes. Uh, Selectman Hippler was uh, questioning the police department and the cars, and uh, quite possibly, you know, why the need of two cars when he sees a car sitting in the Door yard with snow on it. Uh, I guess I applaud you for that. Uh, you know, at least to raise the question. Um, the the minutes don't quite re uh, reflect that uh, what you said, Rick. But um, you you did say that. Um, and last week, uh, uh, at the, well at that at that particular meeting of the twenty seventh, uh, the the board there were all five of you at the board. And Tom, uh, I think you uh, kind of took a, con and this is in regards to the Warren article. For Frank, last week there was three. Pardon me? Last week there was three. three no, the, the 27th. Oh, I'm sorry. The, yeah. Sorry. The, no, okay, I apologize also. Um, so, Tom, I think you kind of took a consensus of the board uh, in preparation for the article. Well, we get one car or two cars. And uh, Selectman Hippler uh, said one car. Selectman Meany, according to the minutes, stated he, uh, Selectman Meany stated he feels about the board should ask for one cruiser this year, start a year uh, program, start a year program of rotation. And uh, he again, Selectman Meany, stated he felt going to the well for two more cruises this year was too much. 
And unfortunately, uh, Selectman Osborne, and I'm pretty sure my memory was correct, uh, you, were, you were not mentioned in the minutes, but I think you were also in agreement of one car. Um, so the consensus was for one car. Now last week, uh, there were only three of you there, and, and Tom, I, I think it was a, a gross misstep for you as a chairman to have that type of discussion with only three people here. And I think you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out, my interpretation of that was you took advantage of two people not being here last week, uh, Jack and John, who you remembered from the week before that they were probably in opposition of two cars, and you had a full discussion with the three of you, uh, Rick, yourself, and Jan. And Jan was stated in those minutes of the uh, 27th, well, she could go either way. Uh, Selectman Snyder uh, said she is fine with either way. Well, that's kind of like abstaining from a vote at, at times. Okay. So I think you made a gross misstep, and you probably could have figured in your mind, well, two people who might have been in opposition to two cars, meaning Jack and John, aren't here. Rick's going to be in the minority, and Jan is swayed either way. Yeah, so I, I have to interrupt uh, you, Frank. And I, you know, I respect the fact that that's what you think, but that's absolutely never the way that I operate. Never. Okay. Okay. I don't. What okay. we said you know, on the twenty seventh. What I did say is that we had gone through a whole process, a CIP process on this, from the. CIP committee through the planning board passed on to this board. We put it on the warrant, and now on the 27th, the police chief was not here, and I did not think it was appropriate to make that change without him here. So we postponed that until the following meeting. I had no idea that there were going to be only three people here. We had to get that warrant together at that, at that meeting. So, you know, I, you, you're welcome to your opinion, but it truly, truly is not the way that I ever operate. I would never do that to fellow board members. Uh, and so I, I have to state that. Okay. You know. Sure. Uh, Fine. But uh, the reason for, 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 for delaying it was because mm -hmm. I felt mm -hmm. that if we were going to make that change, and it was the same thing with the discussion on the uh, police officer, additional police officer, that we shouldn't make that decision after we'd gone that far without having the chief sitting here. So that's where I was coming from on that. Okay, and I, re I respect that, Tom. Okay, thank you. But, but you have denied two people who seem to have a kind of firm opinion, all right, for one card. You've denied them that, that opportunity to speak. And if you want to give them that opportunity to speak, you have this week to try to revisit that. Well, we did. See, we went no. through the whole ward again tonight. Well, that that's true, and and they didn't they didn't speak to that. So I guess I'm going to interpret that whatever these these folks said on the 27th doesn't mean anything. Their, their word is, you know, their word is not what they mean. Okay. Well, so I public you know, hearing. We even have another opportunity. We have a public okay. hearing next Monday. After that point. We, we still have an opportunity to make the changes. I mean, the only okay. thing I take exception with, Frank, and it's a personal exception and really doesn't work on the board, is that, that you, you've made a statement that really doesn't define who I am. Okay. And that, that's where I'm coming. Well, I would have been much more pleased and, and Monday morning quarterback and said, well, we don't have a full board here tonight, so let's, dis let's delay that discussion. Knowing full well that two other people that were missing had a, had a firm well, I can't say that now. They don't have a firm opinion because they didn't address it. Just tonight. one other little point on that for the reason why I'm making a decision on Tuesday night because we had to bring the warrant to the Finance Committee the next night. So uh, I personally felt having it, you know, having okay. ducks in a row for the next night was important. And, 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 I'll, and I'll drop my pot on this if you want. Okay, <laughs> and, and, and I don't want to make this a, a debate or prolong it, but did you go to the selectmen's meeting? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you go to the finance committee meeting 
with a dollar amount in the capital reserve fund for the building uh, maintenance. No. So, yeah. we, so you could have you could have left that. It. So you, right, you did not have it. Okay, so that's an exception. Mm -hmm. The cars could have been an exception. You weren't. You, you didn't have your feet. You didn't have your feet held to the fire for that type of decision just because you went to the finance committee. And um, uh, the other thing, uh, it, it's a little bit of a touchy subject, uh, and, it, and it's not with the person. It was addressed tonight, uh, coincidentally. But uh, the, the contract that was um, alluded to tonight uh, that you folks signed, uh, I, I do remember, and it was stated from the table, uh, I do remember back that uh, uh, it was mentioned about a, a public hearing for that contract, and uh, the, the person in charge wanted to bundle, that was the word that we used again tonight, wanted to bundle that within other contracts, to, you know, save money in, in advertising, uh, and I certainly agree with that. But I don't, I don't know that, I mean, I, I try to keep track, I try to come to most meetings, uh, I don't remember when that was held, if it was held, and it was really brought to light to me with uh, last week's uh, last week's budget. Um, what I did, I, I went I went through last week's budget and I was trying to figure out what the employees got, you know, non non union employees got for raises. I still wasn't able to quite figure it out. <laughs> as I called Beth today, uh, but uh, I, I was looking at that. Uh, position that the contract covers, and uh, it, it's an 18 percent increase, and it's it's a uh, which translates into a fourteen thousand dollar increase, uh, and that fourteen thousand dollars is not figured on uh, a person that making sixteen dollars an hour, you know, like a highway person. Okay, it, it's a substantial increase, both money wise and, and percentage. -wise. On a substantial base pay, so I don't know how you came about that. Uh, <coughs> probably I, I ha will have the opportunity next week to maybe ask that, I guess, mm -hmm. and uh, you know know some specifics. And some of the specifics I will ask is uh, how how long a period is the contract? Um, well, I have when, when was the public hearing held? I guess. Um, when did the selectmen uh, mention that the, uh, and that was mentioned tonight too, uh, that the contract had been agreed to, had been signed and agreed to. So uh, again, I think I think that contract to me, again, it's nothing against the person. I hope that person understands that. Uh, but it's my tax money. Uh, it's everybody else's tax money. I think it's absolutely excessive. And the only parallel I can draw to that is the police chief's contract. Absolutely excessive, but you know, we, we give people what they want, and you know, it, it's at my expense. I think you can do it. I think these people do it's good a job, you know, without these types of contracts in place. So you're not watching out for me. You're taking care of, you know, everybody else. You know, people that are close to you first, and you know, maybe some of it will trickle down to me. You know, in a tax, you know, tax relief, but that's not much either. So those are my only couple of things, and and I I didn't mean to, you know, really. I, again, that's just the way you know. I've always said that I, that I'm very suspicious of government, uh, and you know, I'm as close to government here as I would probably ever be able to get. So it starts at home, and um, I, I'd like to see that those two cars, those blue cars, brought up again. Okay. Thank you. Lori Davis. I'm not going to discuss people's contracts. That'll come up next week. What I am going to discuss is your job as the Board of Selectmen. There are rules that govern your behavior. There are ways you're supposed to conduct yourselves in your meetings. When the town voted in Article 54 to enact a policy such that no written municipal employment contracts be enacted with at least two public hearings, that's your job. You didn't do it with the police department. You have signed a contract. 
and to date there have been no public hearings and there's going to be one there are rules for you to follow it's going to be two nobody's heard the dates other no, than the one they're right on the back side of the door you're welcome to that but the point is you signed something that nobody else is waiting on and it's the second time you've done it one has to question what you're doing your transparency and I have to question the people that are running for the Board of Selectmen this year and coming forward. Like other people, I'm not happy. I don't like seeing this. I won't talk about the contract, but I have to wonder what you're doing. Second thing coming up, I've been on the Finance Committee now for four years. In those four years, the last three, I have always gotten, when I've asked Naomi, the number of calls with a breakdown of what they were and the time of day they were. To date, six weeks, I have not gotten anything. Naomi has talked to the police chief. I had a discussion with him when he met with the Finance Committee two weeks ago. It was brought up again when the Board of Selectmen met with the Finance Committee last week. I will be putting in a written request under the right to know law. And if I don't get my answers on a timely basis, I will take the Board of Selectmen and the Chief of Police to court. I've done it before. I know what I have to do and I have no problem doing it. There is nothing confidential about that information. The public has a right to know, the Finance Committee has a right to know, and the fact that I have been so completely stonewalled and I am not the only person on the Finance Committee that has asked for it, and there has been absolutely zero response. It says a lot about this board, it says a lot about our police chief, and it raises a lot of questions as to how the budgets are made and whether or not these requests that are coming for the budgets are reasonable, and my answer is no. Thank you. Okay. Um, Frank, do you have something else? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't even ask that. I have a mistake. Couple didn't sign. Under. Uh, I didn't sign it. Yep, I got you. Correspondence. This could be either correspondence or new uh, business, but just a reminder, uh, and maybe you've already done it, but that uh, letter to New Hampshire Southern I did it. You did it. Yeah, I did it last friendly week. Community. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can send you a copy. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm covered with an age that friendly community. <laughs> oh, look at me. me. <laughs> Business, I had something to it. Anybody else on the correspondence? Um, this this whole thing with televising of the finance committee. What would the board feel about once again putting a warrant article on the, the uh, you know, just a simple warrant article that said the Something to the effect of should the town require that all finance committee meetings be televised? I think it should be all town committees should be televised. Well, we've already got it John down Foss. as a. John Foss, I think, asked us to. John Foss did, but we found out it has to go to the town meeting right. for a while. Remember when he came in the beginning, he asked yeah. about us doing some. He wanted to When make he it, first came in. Yeah, employment. Has to go before. Has to be a warrant article. Yeah, so well, I do agree with. That. Yeah, we did uh, a couple of years ago, year before last. We had a warrant article because we had. Uh, but it was only strongly recommend or strongly advise. It wasn't require. I think it did not say require, but what it did say was uh, the original article only had. Boards and commissions. So the statement by 
how those a member of the finance committee as a whole is they were not a board of commission they were a committee so it was re reworded to include committees so it already says uh, boards commissions and committees but it doesn't say require because there are some incidences like Board of Fire Wards meets on the same night as the Board of Selectmen, so unless we put something someplace in else, place, it can't be well, I mean, they can televised live. But it just this uh, finance committee has so much say in the budget process and the warrant articles process that to, to not have that, when you talk about transparency, why not have that open? Especially when this room is sitting empty on Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just just tossing it out as to whether or not that should be a warrant article. Well, if you're going to, we got to put something together for the because it's going to be on the warrant for the public hearing. Yeah. Okay. Whether you take it off or you change it, you have to put it. If you're going to have handouts available for your warrants, you got to have yeah, it. Yeah, it has to be on there, right? So we have to. That's why I brought it up tonight. Mm -hmm. It's the last opportunity. A couple of years ago, there were some revisions made, and the, the charge of the finance committee was revised somewhat, and that went before the voters for mm -hmm. approval. Uh, you know, it uh, if you feel it's too late, then, or if it you was feel brought up by I don't think it's too late. It was brought up by John Foss early on. And I think it's something that should be put on. I mean, we get we get thrown under the bus, and then they back up over us two and three times about this transparency. And I don't know, you know, we do, we're not perfect. And I don't think we've done anything with any type of deceit or anything else here. But um, to have a board that comes in and accuses us, and then they're the ones that fight every time about being transparent to be on TV or be recorded like that to me is... is you know, a slap in the face. I think it's, I think it's hypocritical. You know, and um, I think it should be put on the wall. What do you, do you move it forward? I agree with it. I don't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, we did that. We and I was on the board of firewatch when it was done, and we came forth to you people to have our meetings at the. Boy, fire watch at the firehouse because all the information or not that we ask the chief is there. Yeah. So it doesn't make no sense for the board of fire watch to be here, ask the chief, he's going to run over there. So mm -hmm. we kept them over there. But there was a period of a year or so when you did come over here just. We did. To, right. Because it was a difficult time in the department, it was the right time to be yes. right out there. Yes. You know, and uh, transparent. When I first on. Nine years ago, we were in here. Yeah. You and me both. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I have no problem with it. I mean, I think, I think you know, it's transparency through and through. Now, do you want me to take a stab at it and ask Laura about it? Or, I mean, while well, we're yeah. sending him over yeah, there. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I might as well <laughs> I was well, on phone. Just straightforward. Mm -hmm. show, show the town required that all finance committee meetings be televised. And I wouldn't just single out the finance, but I mean, do it all. You know, you, you can't just single out one. Uh, right. I understand the, the the problem with the board of fire awards. I mean, mm -hmm. that's not that a matter, committee. Huh? It's not really a committee. No, it's a board of fire awards, and that's. It's elected. It's elected, and it's something a little different. You know, it's out. It's one. It's that still that fine line. It's is, it, does it come under us, or does it? Uh, are they own entities. They're kind of like their own entity. So, I but mean, they're a town entity. But they're a town entity. So, I mean, even if because of their logistical issue, we can't have a camera over there. It, say they record it. Is there a way to record it and then play it at a later time? Rebroadcast it on a video. Well, what I mean, I'd like to do so long term here is to put. Uh, you know, there's quite a bit of money, like thirty some odd thousand dollars sitting in the <coughs> cable department, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to arrange four cameras to be available. Kind of a setup like this, but it would only be recording mm -hmm. for the 
complex. It could be used for other things as well. But, and uh, also, uh, yeah, but it probably could be used like the recording training activities that we retrain trade to those who aren't there, as well as for uh, sharing with the public. And, uh, you know, you run into, conservation you and run into the, the issue of some of the stuff you put in training you don't want to always off the public bed. some of the stuff is you call it trade secrets <laughs> no well that's right I mean I so, just tossed so that out as another usage well, yeah right uh, but you, if you kept it in house for your own in-house training recorded it to yeah, a different that's location. what I meant for the training yeah. um, Naomi have you ever read the um, Warren article was there a warrant article <coughs> forming the It was, it, but it said right in the deliberative session minutes that it was advisory only regardless. It was by petition. Okay. And it was advisory only for the board. That's the original one. Uh, well, 2005, was for, for there, there was a 2005 came through um, as a petition. Um, Mr. Kirk petitioned it. It says it right in the minutes. And during the minutes, there was a phrase in there that said it couldn't until it went to town meeting ratified it and then at the discussion there was discussion with regards to taking off that portion and amending it because it was too restricted for the board to conduct business in between town meetings so and it was by one of the selectmen and I've asked Laura and I'll have her send it to you again it's strictly advisory it was petition so it did get changed to what she read that but again, I mean, it's advisory, and you guys have every, I mean, that particular part was cut out so you could conduct business. So, and it went to the ballot. She read you the ballot, because if you look in that same town report of 2000, 2005, there was February 5th of 05 was the deliberative session, which the petition came through. You can find the minutes of the deliberative session, which takes out that one phrase because it's too restrictive. And then it was voted on without that one phrase. But again, it was suggested no. there in the deliberative session minutes that it's advisory only. It was by petition. It was near the end of the warrant that year. She was talking about the contract. That's uh, that was by petition. We're not talking, yeah, we're not talking about that yet. No. We're talking about the finance committee. The, the, uh, Sorry, I jumped to no, no, confusion. No, but I wanted to give you the background, too. It was advisory only. It's just like any petition article. But let's stick with the one I was talking about. Sorry. Okay. And that was strictly advisory. But it was came to the board as with you couldn't do it until you went to town meeting, which was very restrictive. And it got moved at deliberative session to go to the warrant just how she read it. But again, it just says shell the board. You shall, you shall not. You doesn't say you required. It doesn't. So, but I'm sorry. So back to the finance committee. There was oh, that last. Was I mean, the committee itself was formed. Yes. Because yeah. I thought I thought Neil said it was a um, uh, something to do with how it was formed would prevent or would give them a reason for not being here and I, I've never seen it I've never looked it up no I mean there the, <laughs> go back to the original formation was years ago and then I, I can look it up but I recall it being a committee and then it actually disappeared for a while and then it came back as an appointed group okay. um, or the a moderate gets to appoint them there's really no there's no stipulation of how long you have to be in town you know, you could come into town tomorrow and be on the finance committee the next day. There was no real, um, the only thing it says is got to be a good cross section of, um, of the town. And who determines the cross section? Yeah. You know, wouldn't he embarrass <laughs> the moderator? And then there was a revision then. When Jerry no, because I think Dick talked about it when he was on. They used to be on TV. Yeah, they, yeah. They there's nothing that hinders. It's just the organization or the the membership. I believe sometimes, you know, has their own interpretation. Um, of what hinders and what doesn't because mm -hmm. um, Dick rightfully said one night I think it was two weeks ago that mm -hmm. they used to televise when he was on it. the um, it was there were some amendments made to it and I think you do televising when Jerry Little was a uh, mm -hmm. moderator a few years ago yeah um, there's been a few amendments because it was like the difference in number of people yeah. then there was difference in a few wordings there's been some thing. changes along the way mm -hmm. but I guess I didn't look at the um, of it being a hindrance, but I mean, okay. there is one more thing under other business you wanted to reaffirm your 
vote of the thirty thousand dollars of expenses from the twenty seventeen budget. Right. I um, just on this we I don't know if we really made a decision because there was some Well there's five um, of you that said yes. No. Mm -hmm. There's five of you that have no problem with putting it on, that's all right. That's right. All it's I just that um, I think uh, Jack you had some concerns about it uh, pointing out specifically the finance. As far um, as what? As far as uh, having a warrant article that says specifically the town. Uh, Why can't we amend the article of whenever it was put on and the board's commissions and whatnot? Does it How was that one? cross out the advisory and whatnot and put the word required in there? Instead of doing a whole new article, just amend the article that was voted on. I think it got changed again on I the think, floor. Yeah. You know, that's going to happen one more time. Oh, you know, right. I, I mean, it's just, you know, as well as I do, that can be amended on the floor. Yep. And I think we had the intention of doing this before, and then it kind of cycled out of all right. these I think, amendments I that think we changed. we ought to put it up there, and then if it gets voted down on the floor, it gets voted down on the floor. The, but I think we have to speak to it, and I think we have to come forth with it. I mean, the article that was put forth the last time, which was amended on the floor, mm -hmm. did have in it a phrase that as of August first such and such a year all finance committee meetings will be televised that part was removed on the floor and mm -hmm. so it, it did leave in the word committees mm -hmm. but it was the same as everybody else i mean we don't we're not required to uh, televise this mm -hmm. or any other committee but in fact even cip after that passage that added committees a few years ago mm -hmm. CIP is televised. Uh, I think virtually everybody does. Yeah, conservation used to meet upstairs, and they come down here on Wednesday nights and televise. I, I mean, I, I think. Meet in here. Yep. I, I think if we turn around and. Well, you only meet upstairs if there's a conflict, though, typically. Right. But I think. Because usually you meet the same night sometimes at zoning yeah, meetings. Second Tuesday, there's a conflict. There's right. Down here. I think though, if the. If we put it forward <coughs> the, uh, the article and then speak to it to the fact that everybody else does it, you know, what what is the big, I mean, it, you know, what it, it, it leads to something that there's, you know, less transparency on that, but they hold us to that same standard, so I, they want more transparency. Everybody else comes in, but why, well, why not? Well, all we can do is put together some wording so and it, take um, it from there. Some wording, and that's uh, to my that's my own personal feeling. Sure. And I mean, uh, you know, um, like I said, we're not perfect, but to turn around and to keep getting smacked over the head with the fact that you know, oh, we got to be more transparent with this, and then to get get threatened, and, and I don't care, it's right there, we're live. We got threatened by t getting taken to court for stuff, and I mean, it has nothing. Some of it has nothing to do with us. And about being transparent at the same out of the same time. I mean, this is it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I think that it should be equal playing field for everybody. Everybody should be on the same same thing. Especially when we're talking about the same things during the mm -hmm. budget season. Right. Yeah. That's, that those all the comments that are made. Uh, should all be part of the, yeah, sorry, mm -hmm. the openness, you know, to the, uh, we certainly don't discuss the budget or any more that I put the camera on. Everything is right here. Uh, whether we agree, disagree, as mm -hmm. it do, we come to consensus right and, yeah. and, and it always has been, for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Is, uh, and, you know, and I, uh, <laughs> and, you know the other the other thing too is that under other business I, I kind of also took it a little bit personally about what one of our commentators said tonight and, and picking on you Tom because I know that you wouldn't do anything underhanded to any of us um, that would be you know oh they're not here so we're going to ramrod something yeah. so, mm -hmm. but, I mean, but that came from the raft of text that we decided to hold us for it if you remember that it's we were talking about it, and I kept getting text messages about, oh, yeah. and can I you mean, talk, table it, here. I'm on I my mean, way, remember? And, and I looked at the vote, and I just looked at it again, and I mean, the consensus was 
you know, unanimous across the board to have two cats. Okay, so I mean, I didn't feel that bringing it back up again tonight. But if that's what they want to hear, I'm still of the opinion, you know, I'm going with the, like I said, we the decision was made. We stand as a unified front before. But, yeah, is my personal thing? No, I think they could get away with one car and go into the rotation, you know, get a new car every year again, and I still feel that I'll, way. I'll make my opinion known as the one I vote. Yeah. And, and to me, that's that. that's it. But um, but I, I have to go with the board, and, that, and that's the right thing to do, is they stand unified together. Gotcha. And that was, you know, John and I weren't here, and the board passed it, so that's basically where it is. The rest of it's up between me and... In the booth. In the booth, you know. My own conscience. Okay, so you, you see if you could get mm -hmm. some wording on it. People are okay with putting that on um, mm -hmm. in some form. Um, I don't have the minutes with that list of stuff in them in order to. What was the date? The 27th. I'll well, just reaffirm the, the year end purchases that were made at the 27th. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I don't think we have to list them, they're, they're listed in the minutes. Okay, I have moved that we uh, reaffirm the decision made on December 27th concerning end of the year pur purchases uh, in the amount of $30,746.36. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I just, I just think without that in there at all, we Mm -hmm. I thought we. I thought Is that we five? I yes. thought we did yeah. too. I believe we will, but I, you know, you could have, but usually I take pick up on that. It would be like it's okay. sports. Let's go to the video. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back for a replay. <laughs> <laughs> um, under the strip, is there a policy on inclement weather? I sent you a text. <laughs> Predicting again for for snowmageddon on voting day. <laughs> oh, no, that's still up to them. No, who makes a decision to shut our office down if if and when it snows? Oh. That's for clarification. I had just... It's in the personnel policy. It is? Okay. Yeah, it says... No, I, I, yep. I read it if you, in clement weather. Yep. What the heck one do I have? No, you should have the right one because... they don't have to come in if, if they don't want to come in. I've always had the same thing. If, I mean... I mean, I was asked Thursday. Thursday is a five-hour day. Mm -hmm. At 10 o'clock, I was asked if we were closing the office, mm -hmm. and I said no. I said it's only a half a day. If I've always felt that if somebody was didn't feel they could drive to work because dangerous conditions, all they have to do is alert me 30 minutes ahead of time, and they can take an earned day, not a sick day. It's vacation or bonus. Okay. Um, in the same way I feel, if you think it's really bad out and you don't think you're going to get home, I offer the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it talks about, yep, in the nine. event of weather, you can read but it if that, you want. That didn't account for if you were here. It, the way I read it is it, if you oh. did not want to, didn't feel as though you wanted to come in. So I did check that. I, I checked the personnel Oh, and I'm it sorry. doesn't okay. say anything after that. Yeah. I mean, say, say Thursday had been a full day, mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, would circumstances have changed yep. maybe, and people would be sent Plus home one. or not sent home? I just didn't, you know. Yep. Yeah. There have been occasions. Where the weather has been and so that bad. that circulated around the listserv, and some of them said we don't close unless it's deemed an emergency by somebody bigger. Which, funny, then, which other day it was? It's, it's funny, but at the same time, I mean, I mean, Goffstown was an example that was provided to me. Well, Goffstown canceled the night before. Well, when I get up, there wasn't any snow. You know what I mean? Because that's the risk you run the night before. Yeah, they work the same hours that we do. And um, that's their determination. There's sometimes the board just tells the administrator that, that, that to call everybody. Yeah. Um, I've always been of the exact same thing since I've been here. I've never begrudged anybody that doesn't feel safe mm -hmm. that they have to come in. Because this isn't very busy when, pe when it's snowing. You know, Benji's going to plow around us. It's really an inconvenience for him. But at the same time, I don't want anybody. Sometimes it's worse when you get here and the middle of the one inch an hour, we decide, oh my God, I got to get home. Kind of if you hang out and wait here, the road's going to be better when that time is time to go. But I've, I've never judged on somebody if they're uncomfortable driving or anybody. If they call and say, 
you know, it's snowing. I don't think I'll get home at the end of the day. Do you care? All you do is alert me 30 minutes ahead, and that's kind of what we've done. So there isn't there isn't something for when you're here, correct? But it does. I guess I've always felt the same way that if you if you think it's awful in the morning, but at the morning the commute was easy, but at 10 o'clock you could hardly see out the window. I don't know how good it is to be on the road at 10 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Being when a few times as a teacher, the superintendent would send kids home in the middle of the day because of the storm, which always made me. Angry. Well, at the same time, Jan, a lot of times um, last year, I believe, Ricky and you guys, a lot of times we had a couple of storms, and I'd say, what are your thoughts of closing at noon yeah. time? Yeah, we, we were um, and I'll, I'll ask you individually, yeah. Yeah. if it's really bad, but part of it, yeah, no, I mean, part of it was uh, kind of, we were only here till one anyway, but mm -hmm. at the same time, as I've repeated over and over, if you're not, if you don't feel comfortable, I don't ever discourage you well, for not taking it time. Bank in town had closed at 11 and I know that um citizens didn't even open. Citizens didn't open cuz I didn't My daughter-in-law texted me and asked if I was taking a snow day cuz she was. Oh. And she works at Citizens and I said no. Yeah cuz I got a thing from Citizens yeah. say they were closed yeah. but I didn't realize. Yeah. They never opened. That's yeah. that's TD unusual. Bank closed. Yeah. Like that. TD that closed at 11. 11. Yeah. That's Bank very closed. unusual. Yeah. Um, but I mean the state offices stayed open. Mm -hmm. um, but yet you go to the and state, it's one half and you go to the state the of other. Maine. They declare the state of emergency and close all the state offices. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. You know, except for well, the necessary. Well, that's what I, I didn't so know. So yeah. No, you, usually we get a you know, message. And message. if you want to do something different and not let me be the judge, because I might not be a good judge for that, because I'd keep everybody here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just saying that. You know what I mean? I I have a vehicle that I can get here, and I'm the last one to leave, and that's fine. Yeah. And I've picked up others to come here, you know, and delivered them all back home. I mean, Mary called for a ride several times. We live across the street. She'll say, do you mind picking me up? Mm -hmm. And I don't mind picking anybody up. I'll drive all over town to pick everybody up and make a stop. doesn't bother me. Driving doesn't bother me bad. So if you don't want me to be the one making a decision, somebody else can. But mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's where my That's, thoughts oh, were. Like it's yeah. six, six one half does the other. It didn't. Yeah. The issue is you're here. We are yeah, and it didn't get bad. I was out. I didn't go out to snowblow the first time till like ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so and it was just a barely about three inches of snow at that yeah. point. So I mean, it was nothing. And I'm I'm all for if you guys want to do something well, I mean, different, but that's just a, I've I've always done it in the nine years that I've been sitting at this seat, and I have on a couple occasions said to you guys, hey, look at, and there's been honestly when Fred was here, there's occasions that we didn't even open because it started it the night before mm -hmm. right. and there's things that we it's didn't because it's and I don't like to call anybody um what's that word you're not any less valuable there's a word of um non the tracker station uses it all the time non-essential non-essential non yeah. yeah I don't like to consider anybody non-essential so I don't like to use that right. but at the same time you know what I mean I get it too because this isn't a very busy place no it's not not when it's snowing in no I mean man. There's nothing compared to last year's election. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. No. Yeah. That's um, I do have one, uh, and, and I'll do whatever you guys want. So when you're ready to move on, if you want to do something different, please let me know. Okay. But that's where I've always we'll been at. I think it's really fun. It's far and few between. Uh, obviously, with a power outage, I can't keep everybody here because there's no facilities, there's no heat, there's yeah. no. Yeah. That's, that's a different that's situation. Different. But I do have one more. Um, uh, with this building talking about storms um, these floors are extremely slippery mm. with rubber boots wet feet yeah. um, are you talking about the wood or are you talking about the no the rubber the the runners, we've had a couple people come out and go down those three steps to catch themselves on the way out the door rubber you can put up the, the wet floor sign but it's still you have to be very careful so um, Chip and I have talked about it. Um, we've had, like I said, a couple people just fill it out. They were fine. But at the same point, um, those uh, there's a strip, if you notice, on the front step. that's a flat strip, that's and then there's a bubble. So what I was looking for and what we were going to get from Country Three Corners is a, just a black grip. It's got grit to it. Um, it's just a tape that honestly would be so much they easier. Only construction equipment too, but I just it, it has to be on all of them because some people do go down. I mean, go down to the bathroom when they come in the front right. door, or yeah. Oh, yeah, and I in know. the back step, the steps are only this wide when you go down the back step. We're not step. talking about a lot of. I'll tell you. The, I'll give you a 
it's adjustable. But it's just the big tape, yeah, and it's, it was going to go along the front because it doesn't. The tape doesn't hold well because there's bubbles there, mm -hmm. so the tape won't hold on the bubbles. So the place we're going to put it is right at the front of the step. Which, it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be not this ugly um, looking thing that you're going to trip over. But at the same time, I think we have to do something because a do. rubber boot on a rubber floor and that's wet and snowy oh, just doesn't like, match. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I'll give you a suggestion because I've used a lot of that stuff and put it down on floors and buildings and then on equipment. Um, get the good stuff. For starters. The Gorilla Tape? Yeah, the uh, gorilla, that that the, whatever that make is yeah. the good, the good, the real good stuff. Three M, I think, is the it stuff is. I've used. Yeah. It makes the best, but and then take not just the adhesive that's on it, but take a spray adhesive and hit it on the back and it. put it on, and then put it on with the spray adhesive. It'll okay. give it because if not, after a while, it'll work itself up, and it'll be more of a hazard, more capacity. Okay. And probably more so on those three steps than going downstairs. Yeah. Right, because someone comes out and they're looking down sometimes and they go to take a step right. and it's like yeah, your rubber boots are still, yeah. I, I, I and, did, and it just, it gets slippery. I did it the other day in here and I went, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Little... and you can put up the wet floor sign, but that doesn't, you know, it doesn't tell you to be careful going downstairs. No. It just says wet floor. So I just wanted you to know you're going to see some black tape, but I'll, yeah. I'll mention Chip it's was going to put it down, the spray adhesive. Off. No, I was going to leave them on also well, all year round. Want, it's an adhesive, so yeah, it's yeah adhesive. I know. It's just um, put a lot of money into that. It's funny though that the like, schools have that same stuff on their so whole staircases. I know. Yes. They do. Yeah. But, and how well, many, it's how in. Many it's all in what you want to do if you want to continue to let people slip and yeah, fall. Then we can. How about just an at the bottom? No, just just. Now that we've come up, now that we've come up with a slip and fall, we can have a lot of people looking no, for sure. No, just another serious thing <laughs> that yeah. into my mind is if we do something like on our own that's not professionally done, and somebody trips on it or slides on it, uh, we at risk. You know, perhaps we should contact the maker of the floor and say, is there something that you normally would do to this floor to make it? Well, those are the, those are those plastic, they just, they're rubber. They're rubber tiles. Oh, rubber tiles, mm -hmm. yeah, that go over the, yeah. whatever the base is. Mm -hmm. And the reason we put them there was for exactly the same reason, mm -hmm. that we were having problems with people slipping on the stairs. On the, on the, the tiles that were there. The tiles yeah. were plus. There. I mean, I can ask. I just, I mean, we've already gotten uh, written, you know, if I, can, if I can try to avoid, that. avoid some more people slipping and falling yeah, downstairs. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I truly believe it's not, it's going to be done. I mean, I think it'll be done nicely because we're going to clean up the floor and make sure it's clean. We're not going to just throw it down with a salty floor. Oh, great. You know. And I'll, I'll mention the extra spray adhesive, but yeah. he did tell me that it wouldn't go on because I suggested a couple of strips, and it won't go on with the bubbles because it won't adhere. Yeah, it won't adhere. Yeah. It will, but it won't adhere properly. So if you look at it when you go to leave, there's a yeah, strip there's a in front. Yeah, there's a strip. There's a strip in front. Right. different widths. I'm okay with that. Got a couple things, though. Okay. Um, first one, do we make it? Remember we talked about a while ago about... Um, and I think that the uh, planning board is addressing um, junkyards. What we're doing is defining junkyards because the the, the, um, the problem that we have is that we have the zoning that says no junkyards, but we haven't yeah. defined the junkyard. You do have a junkyard. <laughs> and the <laughs> ones that you it. asked about have yes. dealers bonded through the state. Thank you. So for car that's sales. what for car sales, they're they're bonded, bonded dealers. dealers through the state. So they've oh. gone through the state, and the state provides inspections from DES and the motor vehicle. Okay. Those three that he mentioned. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I guess probably this Thursday night we're going to finalize whatever yeah. it is that's going on the warrant for the planning board uh, related to that. I don't know what form it's going to take, but. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. drawing, I believe, on this um, on some state RSAs as far as. Is that where you were going? Yeah, no, just a question. That okay. I, I, I knew the plan board was on something I yeah. knew that we had talked about it, and I just want yeah. to clarify and make sure it didn't get dropped. Second thing I want to mention is, is you know, that public comment. I, I just, you know, not, nothing that we do is done in, in spite or to be. You know, underhanded or anything like that. 
I work 40 to, to 50 hours a week, 15 to 30 hours a, week, a month on the fire department. Somewhere I have a life in there. And <laughs> the year that that, 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 that Warren article came out in 2005, I was in college. So, I mean, to say that, you know, to, to, to make the accusation that, that, you know, we as a board are, are, I mean, I guess think back to, I don't know, 18, whatever we're you know, incorporated, and look at every single town meeting to, to find out, we're going to slip through the crack one or two here and there. I mean, it, it's, it's human nature. I'm sorry, we all make mistakes. Um, I, I'm not, a, I mean, you know, now that it's been brought to our attention, we're, do I feel that we were in the wrong of what we've done? Yes, I do. Um, that's my own statement. You know, it's my own opinion. But again, I, I you know, to think to think that we're we're actually being spiteful here is is, is you know against that's not what we're here for. Yeah, I'm so. surprised. You know, it slipped by me that we did yeah. not have two hearings on the chief's contract. I thought we no. did. No, we only right. had one. We only had one. Yeah. I thought we had two. I thought okay. we had uh, two. I knew that that was the case. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we were remasked. And, yeah. and, and can I, can I, I know this is you guys' meeting, but I, I want to just add to Ricky's too. We spent a lot of time looking up what passed or when year it passed. There's no easy way of finding the old Warren articles. And every Warren article is passed. You know, every and everything day. that's passed without taking the time to scan them in the years that we don't have. Um, it's just, I guess we constantly are looking for, you know, like you gave a year and the fire department gave a year. That's an easier find than to say, now I know we did something, mm -hmm. and I'm like, give At me a year time. as a starting right. point. And then it's like, then I have to go back to like, all right, I was here mm -hmm. during this time frame, so I have to start from this end to this end. It is very difficult. Um, and I think trying to keep track of, and I'll use the word again, advisory is is hard as well. Mm -hmm. If something gets petitioned, and you know as well as I do, a lot of things do get petitioned. It's an advisory thing. So what column does that go in? You know what I'm saying? It just said, you know, I, I totally understand it because I get from other towns like where somebody looked, wanted us to know we found out that we did the current use penalties and a percentage of it goes to conservation. Well, can you tell me when it started? <coughs> no. So I went backwards until I found it, which was 90-something. But it's just difficult because you have to physically take mm -hmm. out the book and flip through the warrant. Then when you find it, you got to go to the next book and flip to the next part of it that gives you the results. Yeah. So it's there's I don't know if everybody struggles with it or if it's just yeah. something that I, I mean I'm all about I'm all about doing everything you know the way what what's been put forth by the town the, the townspeople for this board to act I'm I'm all about that um, I really am but again to to know something that's now it's over to almost you know yeah I didn't know. it's over ten years old and, and it's twelve years old it's yeah. twelve years old I mean. I mean, it's just it's one of the things where yeah, I, again, I mean, who's been you know harping on the on the uh, the purchase policy? This guy over here, you know. So I'm all about doing things that the selectmen are supposed to do, but it never crossed my mind, and I apologize. The uh, I mean, it's we're we're remiss in that, but like you said, 2005, yeah, 12 years I mean, ago, 12 years ago, working on 13, and um, this is. How am I supposed to, you know, remember that? Somebody re went and researched it because somebody remembers something and I right. mean, they bring it to us. Uh, you know. I appreciate it. Yeah, I do too. But, uh, you know, at, at times it's like they come in and uh, it's a, I gotcha, I gotcha. You know, mm. like, we, why why couldn't somebody say, hey, listen, you know, you recall this is, com this is coming up with that. Um, you know, uh, don't forget this. This amendment is here. This is what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Thanks. You know, instead of coming in after the fact and saying, "I, I got them," you know, I, I'm going to nail you to the barn door. Okay. You know, it's like, um, like Brittany said. You know, we've also got other things. You know, I, I work multiple jobs at multiple hours, mm -hmm. and I I don't have the resources all the time to sit and go research that. And, and um, mm -hmm. if somebody has that time. More power to them. Well, even it takes me forever yeah. to go back through a town report. Uh, uh, I years ago brought this up soon after I was on the board that it seems like somewhere there should be a system 
whether it that categorizes these so that you don't have to look back through mm -hmm. the town reports, but that the town ordinance are categorized in such a way. A warrants, not so much the ordinances, but some of these are the warrants that have passed, and I wouldn't say so much yeah, even ordinance. Policy but we should have something, yeah, like, I mean, like yeah. you can go look up the statute that passed, you know, okay, we could be able to look up the warrant, because that's yeah. something what we're guided by. It was before I took the seat. I no. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying. I'm just yeah. saying it's got to be a better, better way, and better way. come up with a way about and it. And I knew because I was asked this morning about it, so I knew it was coming up because yeah. I was asked today when to I research was on it. The school board, uh, the superintendent at the time, who we were out of Gosstown, Tony Perry, uh, but he had us go through all of the school board policies, which were all over the place, mm -hmm. without any category and use a system that was put together by the National School Board Association mm -hmm. so that if you were in the Ware School District and you were looking up, uh, use an extreme thing, corporate punishment, what's your policy, mm -hmm. it would be it categorized and, and indexed at exactly the same place, whether mm -hmm. you were here or whether you were in New York City or mm -hmm. California. Mm -hmm. There must be some kind of uh, system. Well, I was thinking if we could, is it is it data retention that we could scan the town reports and, and have them available? You know what I mean? To, it would be nice to be able to put in employment contracts or a few words and let it yeah. work itself versus it may have to be getting going to get a load of town reports to start somewhere. Start you know. Yeah, and then so your you allergies kick up because you're into the dust and mold. Uh, employment <laughs> contracts, a section on sure. you know, whatever. Because right. Right. Uh, there was, I mean, we, so I think um, actually Maureen's office and when Diane Lamb was here, there was a project that was undertaken and it's, um, I don't know that it's been continued for capital reserve funds. They actually went back and somebody took the time and Find did it in were. Excel and they did a tab for each one and they actually went back and made a column for the year and typed the article and they actually either cut and paste or typed the discussion. So you can go now um, to the capital reserve funds. I don't know how far they went back, but you can go to some of the capital reserve funds and you can click on the tab at the bottom for each one and it goes back to the in, you know what the intent was and kind of what the discussion was it was a very lengthy thing and diane and maureen i think undertook it when diane was here but it was a lot of retyping because yeah. we didn't have a way of doing it so it was a retyping that yeah, delivered i think that's, I think that's what we'd have to do it wasn't even computerized no. no, a lot of the town reports weren't. So, I mean, so, but it was a project, but then I don't know that if somebody has taken it now and taken the Warren articles and gone added and added them. You know what I mean? It's great to do a project, but it there's got to be a quicker way than sitting and typing it other than now you can cut and paste because it's digital. It would almost be worth, in my opinion, to, you know, do a one-time expenditure of a, of a transcriber. Yeah. You know? I mean, to, to somehow get it from print, from who knows when, to current. Especially where you do have, in today's computers, the cut and paste thing, mm -hmm. so that yeah. once that it was done, if you wanted to rearrange it, well, that really doesn't belong in that category. You just right. do a cut and paste and move it to another category. Right. Well, the other thing, too, is in the data um, retention, I believe it's all scanned and categorized so you could scan town reports back to the old handwritten ones mm -hmm. and then you could put them in a file either by year or whatever but your search mode would be if it's then all put on the server you could search there yeah. for some yeah. words you can put in and let it search mm -hmm. but again today's technology those come in PDF you can now buy a software package that converts PDF back to Word, and you got the eight words again. You know what I mean? So there's technology out there. So if you had, I believe, if you had somebody that we could get to scan, because it seems like the most cumbersome one is the town reports. Because it's like, you know, I think it was a few years ago, and it was 12 years ago. When do when did we go to SB2? What year? God, don't even ask. I have to be poor. It doesn't it? Oh, I'm just thinking before yeah. that, I mean, the, the, the Warren articles would be quite lengthy because there was discussion on the no. floor before that. There wasn't much discussion. I mean, what hit the minutes wasn't much discussed, you know. Okay. And I'm, I'm just saying now, but now you have digital 
it's right. now YouTube. I mean, town meetings, I mean, yeah. before SB2, some of yeah. them were, some of them were. Long. Yeah. I know New, Bo likely. New Boston's were oh, two yeah. nights sometimes. Yeah. You guys probably were two nights. Hours were. Yeah. And then some of them, I've we been in some of them where they'd be out of there in 40 minutes. I mean, from the time yeah. you opened up, yeah. Pledge of Allegiance to Dollar Grand. So I don't know what your answer is without spending some money. Right. But Somehow we had to have a public hearing. On this. Yeah, we did. And that's why he talked. we talked about bundling it together. And it's outside the door that there's two public hearings. The first one's the 15th bundled with Kino and the other one. And the second's going to be the next Monday. You know, so it's out there, it's posted, it was put in the paper, you know. So it's it's legal, it's posted that way, we've posted it, it doesn't like we get it. No, but I think the point is it's already been signed. That's the point. Which I think is putting the cart before the horse. And that's that's where I apologize. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it, it just, it just never even crossed my mind. And, and I'm sure that it was meant for the purpose of listening to public comment. Right. And like I said, it never it, making the decision. Yeah, for some reason this one never crossed it never crossed my mind on no. on timeline. I thought of it today. Yeah, on timeline. I line. was I, thinking about the one I was thinking about the public hearing. Like what's mm -hmm. the purpose? Yeah, at this point what's, what's the purpose? The purpose? Of a public hearing? You just it's an to afterthought. Know what you've done? Mm -hmm. or what we've done? All right. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Anything else? I'm good. Yeah. Anything? Yeah. Okay. AMC. Oh. I'm good. AMC. Yes. Yeah. Nine, seventeen. <laughs> Let him finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Second. Second. Okay. Thank you. Yes. 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 yes.